The Roman legions were on the march yet again. For the dozenth time in only two years, the Senate had mustered an army to confront the slave rebellion. Only this time, they wouldn't send thousands of young men to their death. They had finally learned their lesson. Marcus Lucinius Crassus had assembled a professional army this time and cornered his enemy. With nowhere to run, Spartacus assembled his ragtag army on a small hill and awaited his fate. How did it come to this, he thought. It was barely two years ago that he was a slave, forced to fight in the arenas as a fierce gladiator. He had escaped with his fellow gladiators and raised an army of peasants and slaves who wrecked havoc on the Roman heartlands. But none of that mattered now. To lose here would mean certain death. Crassus ordered his archers forward. They poured arrows into the enemy, killing some where they stood. Javelins were returned in kind, forcing the skirmishers to turn and run. He then ordered a frontal assault with two cohorts. Javelins were exchanged and the lines quickly smashed together. The rebels held firm, thrusting their weapons into the enemy and holding them at bay. Spartacus gave his order for the wings to collapse on the center, beginning the double envelopment tactic. The Romans soon realized what peril they were in and fled the field. As the rebels reorganized, the Roman standard could be seen waving in the wind just in front of their lines. Crassus couldn't allow such a dishonor to befall his army, and he ordered an assault with the whole of his army. The troops understood the desperation in their commander's orders and rushed the enemy line with haste. It was better to fall to the enemy than risk decimation at the hands of their leader yet again. Crassus himself charged headlong into the fray, leading his cavalry to flank the enemy's right. Carnage ensued on a scale which neither side had seen in this war before. Spartacus fought valiantly, personally taking part in the front lines, but he was eventually cut down. The Roman legions were too vast, and the rebel army was surrounded and butchered. Thousands lay dead on that small hill, their blood percolating the soil. With the death of Spartacus, the Third Servile War had ended once and for all. But how different would history look if Spartacus succeeded instead? Let's find out. But let's get started then. So what we will want to do is, in the very beginning, our only option is to go to tournaments because that's what our slave masters are telling us to do. So we want to come in here and find out where the nearest ones are. Barcelona and Alger. Barcelona is pretty far and Alger we would have to cross. Don't know that we really want to do that. Maybe we'll just go to Barcelona. Now, one option that we could do is we could talk to, I think it's this one, paying for passage to another port. So we could go to Palermo, Genova, or Cagliari. Cagliari would be somewhat close. We could actually do that. It's only going to cost us 77 dinars. Let's just do it. So you hop in a boat and you start traveling. You can actually buy your own boat too, but we're not at that point where we can spend that kind of money. We need to spend it on other things. So this is going to take us not where we need, but, you know, close enough. So Port of Cagliari. Now we could take another boat and see if we can maybe get to Barcelona or Alger. So let's see where we can go from here. Yeah, there's no tournament here. Yeah, that's not going to work. So Tunis, Palermo, Napoli. We want to go other way. We want to go this way. So we could just go to Tunis if we didn't want to go north. Looks like everything else is going to be to the east. Yeah, this was a mistake. That's all right. We'll go Tunis and we'll work our way around. We can get to Alger from here. Yeah, let's just pay for another ride. <laughs> it's like uh, just Ubering everywhere, right? But I guess it's safer than going across the land. There we go. So Port of Alger. Let's go ahead and do the arena. So an iron scutarii. I don't know what that is. So no, it's a shield. Okay, that's good though. We don't have a good shield. So we will bet. I feel like the early tournaments aren't too bad. So we should probably be betting on these. So we got a mace, some javelins. Let's see if we can take this guy out or at least help our buddy. Oh, he's going to get destroyed here if we don't catch up. There we go. Now you can turn and help. Let's get some throwing XP or we just miss all of our javelins. That works too. There we go. Just going to beat on this guy. So we are going to try and take skill points in all these combat skills. So it doesn't really matter what it is. As long as it's a melee skill or throwing, we're going to want to level it up. And we got, interesting, a long pole arm. We also got a mace. Oh, wow. This thing does so much damage. Yeah, I do like a good... <laughs> I was going to say, I do like a good pole arm, but that doesn't come out right, does it? I do like a good Bannerlord polearm. Alright, we nailed this guy once. Let's try and get him on the... Oh, man, he got two. He's stuck pretty bad. There he goes. 
We don't really have a good weapon for mounted combat, but maybe we can block this guy in. Yeah, just smack him a couple times. He's got zero armor. Yeah, so it doesn't take too much. Nice. Now we're going up against the last guy. Yeah, let's keep to the polearm. I feel like this is going to be a polearm kind of campaign here, but we'll see. Oh man, 133 damage. And this is a mic drop moment. All right, what do we got? So three renown. Uh, that should actually be more. Did I mess something up? Uh, 1,247 dinars. Now we do get, I believe, so we spent 600. So we made a little over 600 and we got ourselves a nice shield. Yeah, let me check the perks. Maybe I selected the wrong one. We're supposed to be getting the plus three from that. We did put a little bit of points into charm. Plus three renown when a tournament is one. That should have been six. That's all right. Now this is definitely an upgrade on the shield. Oh, that's a huge upgrade. Although it's quite a bit heavier too. 4.7 to 10. I think it's probably still worth it to do it though. So let's swap that out. And actually this guy's got a really small shield. Let's go ahead and give him a bigger one and we'll sell that. So Crixus definitely looks like a Batanian. Look at that. Both of these guys. Oh, and a mouse. Yeah, both these guys were, were Batanian. Well, okay, not Batanian, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they were Gaul, which is kind of like Batanians. So let's find out where the next tournament is, and we will keep moving. Bechar and Barcelona. So Bechar is very close. We don't need to take a boat. We'll just go straight there. Now, we do have to be cautious of bandits. We do have a mod that makes them twice as big as they would normally be, so... If they would spawn well i actually loaded it after the fact so i think once these initial ones get cleared they'll start respawning back in with the big ones i didn't find it until after i'd already spent all this time on the campaign so i think we'll, we'll clear out a bunch of these smaller ones and then i think it'll it'll go to the big ones it actually kind of works better that way it'll give us a chance to at least get some xp because if this was 10 there's no way we'd be able to take these guys on all right we want to try and hit headshots if possible or at least not miss Okay, that's two misses. That's three misses. Oh, wow. Now, let's actually get some two-handed skill. This weapon does work as both. Right, at the very least, we'll distract these guys. They're not coming in on us because they don't want to charge. They are dealing with some cavalry. And we'll take advantage of that. Oh, they're getting, they're getting frisky on us. Man, they're... Ooh, I was going to say, they're, their defense is really strong, but... Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that hurt. All right. We don't want to get swarmed. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> All right. We're just trying to keep our, our friends alive. So Crixus just got a kill. All right. There we go. We're down to two more. All right. Where did Owen... Where did our buddy, the O man? I'm going to call him something else because that name is really hard to say. There we go. Owen the Mouse. It's almost like you want to say Oeno Mouse, but that's, I, I think you say Oeno, Oeno Ma Us. I think the Us is like separate. Yeah, it's kind of, I'm going to call him the O Man. So Crixus with four levels into, actually, these guys should all be dismounted. We'll, we'll let them fight mounted for a little bit. Once we get enough people, we'll probably want to exclusively fight dismounted. So we will take a couple prisoners. We need to make as much money as we can, get a little bit of upgrades on the gear. I think we could probably safely take on six as well. But let's be a little bit more choosy with our, our javelins. Let's try and take out at least the pole arms. These guys are the ones that are going to be the highest risk. At least for our companions. Oh man, I can't afford to miss these. Alright, there's only one polearm user actually. Yeah, so that's fine. Now we're right where we started last time. And if we hit a headshot here... Yeah, that's in good shape. Now these guys can't really do much anyways. They don't have shield. They can't really block them. And I, like I said, if they come after us, they're just going to get flanked very easily. We can just easily mount our horse. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation for them. But it's good for us because we can get a little bit of XP. Oh yeah, Crixus. All right, we need Old Man to get some, some work in here. There we go. He got a hit. Oh man, that guy just chain, he just chain attacked us. All right. Getting some practice on the defense. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how did we just get one tapped? We got 97 damage to the head. Okay, well, yeah, I guess if we get hit in the face, that'll happen. We're very lucky we didn't die here. Actually, that, that probably should have been a death. It's a 25% chance, so it's not like a huge chance, but, um, you know, you do it enough times, it's going to catch up to you. All right, these guys are getting some good hits in, and he should be to like, finish them off right here. Yep. Crixus again. All right, old man. Old man got a kill. Finally, and then Crixus with two. And then we got three. 
So we're lucky to survive. And we probably need to be a bit cautious too because in order to compete in these tournaments, we're going to want to keep a little bit more HP than that. So we'll probably have to rest up for a little bit here. And we'll make sure we don't sell off any of our food that we want to keep. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Man, there's some expensive stuff. These axes are worth a lot. And I'm not 100% sure why, but no biggie. Let's buy a couple mules. And I think we can probably... Yeah, we can take three. And we can just fill up on food. We might as well. Yeah, we're kind of... We're negative right now. There we go. So that should be good. So we're getting a little bit of XP from that as well. We want some steward XP in our main. Oh, and speaking of which, we got a perk into athletics. That's going to be plus five hit points. I think it's probably going to be the more important one. Although, now that I think about it, the combat movement speed is really nice if we're going to be on foot most of the game. We're not really commanding troops, and this plus five hit points does not work for companions. So it's kind of a wasted one. It's only for five hit points. So we could just take the movement speed. Let's actually go movement speed. Yeah, maybe it's a stupid idea, but yeah, I think maybe we'll just do that. And then for the weapons, we'll probably put it into one-handed and polearm for now. And throwing, we'll probably do two-handed a little bit later because there's not too many tournaments that have two-handed unless you go to the Batanian lands. Yeah, so that, that should be okay for now. Do we want to wait? With only 30% hit points, we probably want to wait at least one day. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll get ourselves up to above 50 and let's see what we got. A Canic Helm. So we can get a better helmet. Actually, that probably would come in handy because... We did get killed right now from a uh, headshot, so let's just make sure we keep with our guys. So we'll go, we'll go hands-on melee range here, and then we can javelin this. Actually, let's save our javelins. Oh man, here we go. Now I think our archer is getting clobbered now, but that's no. Oh wow, accidentally blocked that one. Look at this homeless guy, man. What the? <laughs> Bum fights. Alright, let's just keep whittling them down. Oh. Alright, we blasted through his posture. Oh man, that was a big hit. Alright, we don't want to die here. We got one guy left. Yeah, that archer is just on us, man. Okay, so our last guy died, but we also dealt with everybody else except for red. So it's only red left. Yeah, there's no way we win that. And they got a crush through. If you run out of posture and you block, they do get some damage through. In this case, they got 18 crush through, which is good. You can't just, you know, sit back and, and block your way to success. You actually do have to fight. These three guys are going to be competing. Let's just sit in the back and get some free hits. Now, what we'll probably want to do is share the wealth. So this guy gets a hit. Then the other guy gets a hit. So now we're not fighting to full strength. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, he just got stabbed in the throat. Yeah, he didn't get enough from that one. All right, waiting for him to turn his back and then we'll just start beating on him. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, good thing we saved up to 50%. Oh man, right in the head. Yeah, top of the head to, with a mace is, is probably a bad day. We'll go with the polar arm on this one, see if we can take this guy out. Oh man, that was like right in his mouth. So we got it. We got ourselves a Kanek, a decorated Kanek Helm, 1300. Now, I don't know if this one's any good. We do need to, once we save up enough money and maybe get a few more companions, we should probably look at buying some, some proper attire. Yeah, we need our gladiator gear. But it's going to be hard to pass this up. This thing has almost double the amount of armor. And then we'll just pass that down. Most people got a little bit of an upgrade. We got 50 armor on our head now, so I don't think we'll be getting one shot now. Unless it's a hit to the face, then that's that's kind of a bad day. Now, we do want to keep... Well, actually, you know, let's save up our money. Let's get at least the initial three people. So ourselves, the Omen, and Crixus. Let's all get a proper set of gear. So we need to head up to Empire Territory, and then we can go to the, the Smithing Guild. So, for example, right here, don't think they're going to have it. Yeah, see, they don't have any Gladiator Helms. It's going to be Thracian, Phrygian, Phrygian, Phrygian. All the stuff from this culture which is not what we want. Let's head to the arena and see where the next set of tournaments are. Zagora and Barcelona still. All right, well, I think Zagora is probably close. It's weird because, I, you know, it's realistic. So if you know the map, you might know where that is. I personally don't know where that is. Uh, looks like it's not too far here, but... Oh, you know what? We didn't get rid of our prisoners. We've got a bunch. We need to sell them. All right, so we can get rid of these guys, and they're going to give us 1,500 in ours. That is a lot because those are basically the looters. They call them Barbari, but they're basically just looters. And this one is Reinforced Thurios. 
That seems like it'd be like an arm guard or something. No, it is not. It's another shield. This is going to be good for me because I don't know very much about this era. You know, the equipment name or things like that. So it'll be a good learning experience for me. Oh man, back to back face shots. Now I'm not seeing Crixus or Oman in here. So I think maybe we need to get up to a higher level of tournament. Like this one's the lowest one. But I think if we get up to a higher level, they will start to show up. So it, it, it will be good if we start to upgrade our own gear set. This guy attacks so fast. All right. And he's the low, he's the low tier. There we go, got him. I was gonna say, I don't wanna see what the nobles are like fighting against. Now, one thing we can do, if we don't wanna break their guard, we could just wait for them to attack and then counter. We just have to be really quick on it. Doesn't seem to wanna to be attacking. Oh, well, there we go. We split his guard anyways. Yeah, the distance of these spears is pretty good. We gotta get some of these in our on our troops. Oh man. Yeah, especially with RBM. Really, really fun to use spears and pole arms. So we got another 1200, so basically 600 profit, a shield. We'll probably throw that on somebody. So this thing is worth only 900 actually. It's not as good as I thought, but it is it is an upgrade. Yeah, and then we'll get rid of the 90. I'm sure Barcelona is still gonna have it, but let's see if there's anything else in between. That one's a little far. So Lisbon, nice. Now I do know where these are, thanks to EU4. So Lisbon down here in Portugal, Barcelona's up here at the top, so we'll go Lisbon first. Really cool to see how they did this map. I, I'm very impressed. I know it's it's not perfectly to scale because obviously if you make everything to, to perfect scale, it's it may not be playable in certain areas or you know some parts are just gonna be too big to use and other parts are gonna be too small. Or you can't follow it exactly, but really impressed the, with the way it looks, I mean. The site, it's it's a huge map. I, I'm curious to see how big this is compared to the Bannerlord map. I don't know, it feels a lot bigger, but that might just be, you know, because I'm not used to it. So I'm, I'm curious to see if you were to put the two, you know, on top of each other, like how much square kilometers or miles or whatever one of them covers. Ooh, we just barely got out of that one. Now we want to go to Lisbon, Lisboa. Uh, I don't, I think we probably have to cross the bridge here first. Here we go. So we're running into Sea Raiders now. Uh, let's not test them out. Yeah, I think a smaller group, like five or six, we could probably try out, but not, not that many, especially when they're all clumped up. Now, it does take significantly longer to get around this map and get to certain towns, so that is one thing to keep in mind. If, if you're planning on doing a, a campaign like this, expect to spend a lot more time running around. Manica Brass Scale, so that seems like a body armor. We're definitely going to want that. Oh, no, it's, oh, actually, that's the one that we need for our arm. That's, uh, I don't know if it's good, but it fits the decor we're looking for, or the style. So we're in Empire, oh. I was gonna say, we're in Empire territory now, and that guy just got one shot in the face. I don't know if we can get there in time. I think this guy's, this guy's toast. Oh, maybe not. All right, that was our guy that went down. All right, these two green guys will clean up. Actually, can we take out a green one? So it's not a 2v1 once you guys get killed. Oh, we almost died. Yeah. The kicking with the shield is not a good idea for the most part. You're going to want to put the shield away and block. And then kick. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He wasn't even aiming at us. He just happened to stab. I don't know. What did he stab? I won't tell us. That's embarrassing, man. <laughs> Well, that's how it happens sometimes. Yeah, he definitely was not aiming at us, but he must have hit like our arm or something. Probably something that wasn't armored. So Madrid and Rabat. Rabat sounds like it's further south, if I had to guess. Right, I don't think that's a Spanish name. Rabat, yeah. So let's just go Madrid and then we'll go Barcelona and we can work our way back up. You know, what we also need to do is keep spending our points. So we'll go for a longer shield bash duration. I think we're going to get mostly one handed here in these tournaments. So we'll put more points into these. And we're coming up to the massive mountain ranges of Madrid. Yeah, this would be a tough place. Right, there's one way in, one way out. Optio Gallica. Don't know what that is. We're learning here. So this is a helmet and a 50 armor. That's going to be good for one of our companions, at least. All right, let's see if I can not do something stupid and get killed. Wow, one shot that guy's shield. All right, one shot two guy's shields. 
All right, we're down one already. We got to hurry. We're down two already. We got to do something here. So this red guy needs to die. All right, I'm going to try and distract for this guy, but... Didn't work. Okay, there we go. We got one. That's a good start. It's so hard. Yeah, they keep... No, we're dead. Yep, nothing I could do about it. Oof. I guess, you know, I think the mistake that I made was throwing the, the javelins or the pylum. I think I should just skip that and stay with him in melee range. Because once they get into melee range, they tend to make stupid mistakes and get surrounded. Rather than staying as one cohesive unit. It'd be really cool if you can command your units. So Valencia... That's in the southeast, if I recall. Part of the Kingdom of Aragon. Yep, Valencia. There we go. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you can command your units. Like, if you get two or three teammates, you could actually command them around so that they don't do stupid things like that. I can't tell you how many times. It's got to be in the hundreds, maybe thousands. I don't know. I play this game way too much. But how many times I've had allies in a tournament just go off on their own and get killed and then ruin the whole team. We're not now, we have very low scouting skill, so unfortunately we got caught. We're going to have to pay these guys off. It's only 300, but almost 400, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it was at nighttime. I had to speed up. It's kind of hard to react that fast. We should probably start skilling some people up for scouting, but um, we need to hire more people for that. Legio e Calradica Scudum. You guys can say Scudum, I believe, is a shield. Right, there goes our pole arms. This one shouldn't be too bad. There we go. We got everybody down. All right, let's get back in the wind column. We're going to stay with our boy here. Oh, no, no. Don't hit him in the head. All right, I'm just going to focus on keeping our guy alive. I don't really care about taking everybody out. Well, I guess that doesn't matter anyways because our buddy's gone. So let's just... All right, these green boys need to go. It seems like the thrust attack is really, really strong on this thing. Yeah, look at that. 85 damage. Okay, so now we know what to do with this dumpy little mace. Now, that guy's got javelins. You gotta be careful with him. Alright, don't die, don't die, don't die. That was really stupid of me. I got hit twice in a row. There we go. Got him. And that was 115 damage to the neck. Now, we'll back up a little bit so we can get... Four of these to throw, assuming he survived. Oh, wow. This thing's got some drop. Right, we can pick up another one. Yeah, there we go. We can take him out without having to fight. Oh. <laughs> it's a blunt. You see the blunt end? And it's like through through his upper chest, lower neck. So we got ourselves a Scutum. A little over 600 dinars. And again, three more Renown. So now all three of us have decent shields. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, and that's that's a proper shield right there. Man, that thing looks good. They did a really good job on the design in this mod. It's really impressive. And we got our second perk of an athletic, so level 50. We're going to go weight armor. We want to keep our speed up. Barcelona still has a tournament ready, so we'll go up there. Some brass greaves. We definitely need that. Yeah, that, a cape, and some arm armor. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm telling you that the thrust on this mace is crazy. I mean, it does have giant spikes on him, so I'm not too surprised. Just missed his toes. At 55 athletics, yeah, we're getting good athletics. We need to put some more points into our one-handed. We're not getting too many skill points on that. But we're I'm not too worried about it. We're going to get the majority of our skill once we start fighting real combat. <laughs> that thing looks so goofy. Just have this this gigantic thing sticking out your back. All right. Well, let's back out. I don't want to die here. Oh, man. Just ran right through all three of them. All right. Shield's gone. Got a little bit of damage on him. Yeah, I think we're about ready for the next level. That turn Well, I say that, and then we just get... <laughs> Almost get killed. But I think we're ready for the next level of tournament. These are getting a little bit too easy. Okay. 
turned his back on us right as we got to him. Gotta love the AI. So our, our earning from bets is going down. It's kind of natural every time you win. I don't think it's based on how many tournaments you win. I think it's just... Uh, actually, I don't know. I, I probably should test it out sometime. So this is Greaves. We definitely need them. And nobody else needs the upgrade, so we'll sell it. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and put the points into one-handed, I think. So that'll cap that out. We can start working on throwing and polearm and then save the rest for two-handed later. We'll start working on some smithing and writing. We'll need those two. I don't know that we'll do a whole lot down here. I, yeah, I don't I don't know. These couple early ones just to help us in the early game. I think that'll work. So Toulouse is the next one. Actually, let's just go there. We already know where it's at. No need to delay it any further. Segmented Sevelier over Laced Quoc. That is a helmet. And I don't think that... Is, I think that's one of the ones that snuck in from a different mod. I'm pretty sure that is not Roman era, but we'll, we'll probably end up selling it anyways. All right, so we actually got four javelins on this one and already busted a shield on, on the first throw. <laughs> oh, that poor guy got just tossed around. So we do get to get a little bit of polearm action here. Better be careful. These things do quite a bit of damage. Right, blue's starting to take over. Let's limit their success here. Oh, help me out, dude. There we go. Here we go. Just what I like to see. 1v1. Now, we will try some... Try some advanced techniques like uh, the fainting. I've noticed that that can work a little bit with this mod. So we go from the right, use block to stop it. And then we come back from the other side. Oh, I just totally butchered that. Much easier to do in actual combat than showing in a demonstration for some reason. Makes no sense, but that's how it is. I right, see if we can get a hit on his his leg armor. It doesn't seem like it, though. Right, we can also kick him in the balls. That's a fairly effective technique. Oh, man. And we gotta, we gotta really manage our distance. Yeah, because if we're hitting... If we hit him too far in, we're hitting him with the handle. Man, I don't know how we're missing those. We should probably do an overhead strikes. Yeah, you can't really miss those. Yeah, we want to hit with just that really tip of the blade. Otherwise, you're not doing any damage. You're going to hit him with the handles. And the earnings really went down. I'm wondering if I missed a, a round of betting or something. But let's go ahead and sell this thing off. Oh, man, it's really good, though. But everybody's got pretty good helmet, except for this guy, actually. How does that look? Yeah, whatever. We'll use it. I really don't want to lose Crixus that, that early. And we picked up a level of polearm. We're going to be using the one on foot, so we'll go pikemen. And we've got a little bit of cash saved up. I would like to start fighting a few more battles outside of these tournaments. So on the way, we can pick off a few bandits. What I plan on doing is just like I did with all the other cam campaigns, we go to the tavern, find some people that we want to convert, and then we just change their name, their stats, all that stuff. So let's do that. So we've got Rodanos Jabarius. Let's see how expensive you are, my friend. Or, oh, my heart hurts right now. Oh, that hurts, man. Why are you so expensive? Yeah, super expensive and you don't even have a, a mount. Well, let's get you a sumpter and you've got a little <laughs> you've got a little kitchen knife. Actually, no, it looks a little bit bigger, like a fox blade. It looks small in the picture. Well, I think we have money for a couple more, assuming they're not all gonna cost close to five grand. So let's let's take another. Well, now, We've got Dimitrius Magni oh. Valoris at seventy five hundred. You gotta be kidding me, man. Why are you so expensive? I can't afford it, but we're going to have to afford it. Thirty, We got 3,200 dinars left. And I'm really hoping you have at least a mounted ride. Better not tell me. Oh, no. Well, you came with some pretty good gear, though. So I guess maybe that's why. But holy crap, man. That was a lot of money. So let's get you a Sumter. Can't afford anything else. That's, that's all you get. So we're down to 3k. But at the very least, we do get a few more people we can fight with. We have to be real careful with Rodanos, though, because that's not having a helmet is going to be pretty bad. All right, next arena. So we're we're gathering our slave companions. These are all fellow gladiators that are dis disenfranchised that want to join us. We're just going to gather them, travel around to different arenas. And then once we reach a critical mass, we'll be good to go. We'll, we'll start our rebellion. So Bordeaux and Marseille. So Bordeaux and Marseille. Where's Mar Marseille is to the right. Let's actually go to the east. That way we can head... The, this is kind of the, the Vlandian, or what are these people called? Yeah, the Dryadic. We want to kind of stay in the Empire regions. We can branch out a little bit, but I think it's probably best that we stay with within the Empire areas. Ooh, 20 Sea Raiders. That's not... That's no joke. 
Nasal Helm. So this one is, again, one of those ones. I guess we'll we'll use it just because it's there, but we'll probably want to swap it out for one of the, um, the Eagle Rising equipment. We're gonna we're gonna block our guy and then we're gonna turn to hit our allies guy because their defense is really good. So we're just gonna play the strategy game here. Oh wow, we got one shot. Yeah, he's dead too. Well, that's okay. We survived long enough to get in to the next round. Oh, and this guy's got bow and arrow, which means our guy's got bow and arrow. Oh, I was gonna say, was that our guy just get one shot? But the enemy got one tap. <laughs> What a shot, man. That was his first shot, too. Just blasted him right in the eyeball. Now, we do get four javelins. Let's go ahead and toss them all before this guy gets his off. Now, our throwing skill is really low, which is, you know, with RBM, it means we're going to do very little damage, but we'll build the skill up. Right, this guy is pretty slow. Oh, man, we missed. This I know this is a polearm, but, like, the range on this thing is terrible. I don't know if it's just the the way the model is, but it's really awkward. Like, I would not want to use this thing in, in real combat. Oh, that could be bad. Oh, no. The guy had, like, five hit points left. You got to be kidding me. That was a little disappointing, but it happens. Especially with this mod, You, if you don't have really good armor, you can just get one shot. So, Leon and Orleans, I guess we're going north. Yeah, it's actually really close. Interesting. So, yeah, some towns are really close to each other and some are very, very far spread apart. So I think in the European areas, it's probably better for tournaments. They're going to be... Oh, you know what? Let's actually dismount everybody. Yeah, we got four people. They've got six. We can probably pick a couple off before they get here. All right, let's actually get in there. Oh, don't hit our guy. Yeah, somebody just got hit in the face with the gigantic uh, javelin. So Demetrius got two kills there. Wow. Very impressive. And I forgot to set these guys' stats, so that doesn't count, but we reset them. That's all right. That one, we really just wanted the loot anyways. Poseidon embossed bronze helm. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, you can't really tell from the pictures, unfortunately, but yeah, we do want to get this thing. All right, let's body block our boy. Make sure he's not going out by himself. All right, we're going to push in to make sure that we're blocking more than one person. Oh, no, he's getting he's getting hit from the back. Right, we might need to abandon our buddy here. Unless we can one shot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just running through him. Wow, we, won <laughs> we killed all four of those guys with a single shot. That was looking pretty grim, but it just shows you that how important it is to know how to use the weapon in, in this mod. Yeah, 225 damage. Whereas if we if we use the swing, it wouldn't have been anywhere near that. There we go. All right, now Green Buddy's still alive, but we should be able to fi finish this guy off. There we go. Got some uh, break, some crush through on that. Oh, man. I tried to fake him out, but he beat us to the punch. There we go. Oh, some crush through on the very first hit. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance, even with the block. All right, let's go ahead and block this guy, see if we can get him into position. He can start getting some hits. Oh, he just got one shot. need to get a good hit on this guy. Nope. Oh, that might be bad. Alright, I'm tired of losing these tournaments. In the previous episode, we won and lost a few tournaments, almost died in battle with Bada Buddy Bandit troops, made good money from selling loot and prisoners, and hired Rodinus Jabarius Dimitrius Magni Veloris. No, we might be dead here. This is so frustrating, man. That's really frustrating. 
Yeah, RBM tournaments are way harder than the, the base game. Could I have done that? I don't know if I could have done that differently. I don't know what else I would have done. So we can go to Orléans. Let's go up there. 16 is probably a bit too much for us. We'll try and stay in uh, maybe 10 or less. 6 would be really good. Alright, so Demetrius does have javelins. And that was a really bad throw, Demetrius. What the heck are you aiming at? Maybe because the rain? Maybe the rain ruins like the range? Alright, we're not... We gotta narrow this down here. Now let's... Oh, wow. Somebody already went down. Alright, let's get in there. We gotta do something. Alright, there we go. Uh, did he die, though? Man, that would be bad if he died. So, oh man, went down. We got Crixus, but he didn't die. That's good. So, Crixus with a kill. Demetrius and Rodnus. All got kills. Let's start putting points into Vigor. That's going to help us quite a bit. We've got Endurance up to the max. We're going to get two Endurance. We'll get one from Athletics and one from Smithing. We're also going to get two Vigor from these as well. So, we only want to go up to eight. And then everything else we can throw into control. We probably want to get throwing up to a decent level at some point. So let's go ahead and put more polearm and throwing. Yeah, here we go. We can we can take on a, a group of seven as well. Now we got to be careful because we do have some injured guys here. We have the perk where people get back 30% of their lost health, but that doesn't mean we could just go in willy-nilly, as they say. Oh boy. All right, they're going crazy over this. They're just ignoring... <laughs> they're just ignoring our buddies. So they all got good kills. We only got one, but that's fine. Demetrius with three. He's actually proven himself to be a very, very strong combatant. Crixus, pretty solid. Rodnus, at least got some damage in there. And we will fill up a little bit more on prisoners. And I'm hoping we can get some more, uh, some more money from that. It just depends on where you're selling them. Some places don't need slaves. Some places do. So let's see what they got. Yeah, see, 935, it's not as much as we were getting at the last place. But it's still, it's it's not terrible. Now, we can pick up somebody, assuming it's not going to be super expensive. Oh, man, that's so expensive. I was not expecting that. 62.84. Yeah, it's pricey. So it leaves us with 1,500, and we still have to buy a mount. But, I mean, we don't have a lot of expense, so it's not a big deal. But, wow, I was not expecting him to have basically nothing. It's a big difference when you're using RBM. So let's go ahead and give him an old workhorse. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. Julius Arturius... You, Julius, I know Julius, uh, I think you usually pronounce the, the J as a Y, right? Julius Caesar, uh, I don't know, it's probably Julius. Yeah, Julius Artorius. So that brings us up to five companions. Three more than our original, we're making our way. It's it's not going to be an easy journey, but we'll get there. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff that we don't need. We'll make sure we don't sell any of the animals or the food, and everything else should be able to go. Actually, do we, yeah, we didn't get a shield. Oh, they don't have any money here. That's a problem. So we can go to... Paris and Metz. Metz, I believe, was part of the HRE. That I do remember from... Yeah, there it is up there. So it'd be uh, German... German Modern-day German territory. Uh, we could probably start taking some of these fights, too. Might be a tough one. Oh, yeah, that's actually a tough one. We could stay mounted for this one. It's I guess it's probably not that big of a deal. Let's, uh, let's go get some uh, javelin kills real quick. We want to try and pick off some of these spear guys. Those are the ones that are the most dangerous. Oh, that was really bad. That was really bad. Oh, there's one. Our horse is just about dead. All right, well, not a whole lot here we can do. We're just going to have to go for it. All right, where's that pole arm? Yeah, he's not really coming out. These guys are going to block most everything we throw at him. Oh, except for that guy. Yeah, we just want to try and distract them as much as we can, especially when they're we want to time it. Oh, that guy's coming in on his own. Who's that brave man? All right, that's a good hit. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. We're actually getting some good teamwork in here. Oh, Julius, first blood. Now I think we got rid of the pole arm. Yeah, I don't I don't see the pole arm now. That guy took a pretty big hit. No, I see the pole arm. All right, we got to be careful then. Yep, there goes the horse. But luckily, we still have cavalry, so they're not going to just rush in. Let's see if we can pick some of these guys off. So let's distract them. They're coming in. If they want to attack our cav, they're going to get stabbed. Yeah, look at that teamwork. He blocked our hit. 
And then Julius got him right in the back. Man, Rodnus got a kill there too. All right, we need to we need to get rid of this guy for sure. Yeah, you cannot exist. All right, let's see if we can serve him up on a platter. Get him, boys, get him. Julius, man, he did really well. Look at that. Julius with three. Rodnus with two. Okay, Rodnus, you, you redeemed yourself. And Demetrius with one. So not too shabby. We got some people that are getting into the 60s now. Crixus. Oh man, with three. How about we call him O-N-O? I don't like O man. It doesn't come off the tongue very, very nicely. O-N-O. 165. There we go. More importantly, we got some more of our own. I mean, we're slaves, but we're collecting slaves too. And it looks like everybody's got some decent gear now, at least. Now we do need to get a shield, I think. Yeah, for Julius. Although he, he didn't need it, man. He went in there and just cleaned up. All right, back to Perry. A small heater shield. That's exactly what we needed, actually. Although it's not historical, but we'll probably swap it out at some point. So we're still in tier one tournaments for some reason, and we need to make sure we don't get outnumbered here. All right, seems like we're doing okay. We're even. We're not really dominating. No, we're now outnumbered. There we go. Ooh. I switched target the last second there to try and take out the guy that was attacking our buddy. All right, we got pretty lucky in this one. Let's see if we can keep the luck up because we are hurting for cash here. Wait, is he really throwing that? What an arm. I mean, it came up short, but... <laughs> wow, that's a long throw. I mean, it, he's confident. You can say that. And we're going to do very little damage because he's moving away from us. All right, let's get some thrust damage here. All right, we want to try and get a thrust hit to the head. That'd be a one shot, but... Oh, man. Well, even though it blocked, we got 22 crush through on that, so that's pretty good. There we go. Two hits back to back. As I say, I really don't want to lose this. Let's just blast this guy out. Actually, we got one crush through damage on that. That's not very good. I think we, we need to spend a little time and some more points on our polearm. Yeah, 11 damage. This, this weapon seems like it'd be really good, but it seems like it struggles a bit. Yeah, the handle hits are, are brutal with this thing. Because it's like 80% of your hits are going to be handle hits. There we go. That was a pretty good hit, 39. But considering our one-handed mace can do, you know, 150 damage. And we get a shield with it. It's kind of like, why would I even use it? So we're less than 1,000 earnings at this point. So we're not going to make as much money from that. we got to come up with a better way to make money. The The bright side is our, our wages aren't going to be too crazy. Minus 40. That's interesting. Yeah, it should be, it's 20. These guys all cost four each, but it's given us main party wage of minus 20. So it's like double what it should be, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Banner Kings calculates things a little differently, so I'm not too surprised there. And Prisoners Ransom for 20 dinars. That's not going to cut it. So we're going to hang on to them for now. See if we can get another place that can appreciate our quality prisoners. And again, we'll just sell everything else. So 15k, yeah, that's where we're going to make our money from, is just fighting the bandits. But we still, I mean, it's our... our Obligation is to go town to town and fight tournaments because we are gladiators. That's what we do. And we hit 75 athletics for the perk. We can go party size or crafting stamina. This is a tough one for a couple reasons. So party size is going to be pretty important. We're, we're probably not going to be starting an army ever. And if we do, it'll be real late. And we are going to be doing some crafting. But in Banner Kings, the crafting system is a little different. If you use your main guy to craft, you have to physically sit there and wait. Yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive. So... Probably the party size is going to be a little bit more important. Let's go party size. And then let's also put a point into throwing. We need to start boosting that up as well. So we ran into Oengus in the tavern. 2300. We can definitely afford that. I'm curious why you're so much cheaper than everybody else. You've got a shield. You've got a pretty good one-hander. Very interesting. I'm certainly not going to complain or disparage that. So let's go ahead and give you a horse. Welcome to the crew. We've also got Kaifa here. 4,200. That's not too bad, actually. We can manage that. And Kaifa actually has got his own horse. That is what I like to see. Now, no shield, though. And we could 
buy one, but I feel like we're going to run into somebody that's got a shield soon. Anyways, let's not spend the money. I feel like I'd rather put the money into more companions. So who might you be then? And I think we've got enough money to hire Efulmerius here. Let's see what we got. 3,200. Yeah, we're just going to go on a hiring spree. Now, sadly, Efulmerius does not have good gear. Yeah, he's missing a lot of stuff, but that's all right. And a Gladius. So it's a very short. What's the length on this thing? 64. Yeah, very short. We'll probably pick up our final companion here. So we got our first female. We got Ovenya. Oh, we can't afford you. <laughs> All right, let's go sell some stuff. Let's go sell some stuff. That's kind of messed up, right? Probably we'll come back. She'll probably end up be dead or something. <laughs> right, we're just going to get rid of some civilian gear. It's just not something that we'll ever really need. A lot of junk on the civilian side, but we had enough of it that we can amass. Enough, we, we can basically pay for Wolvenia. Get in here. Welcome to the crew. So we're up to nine companions, 10 people in total, including ourselves. This is coming along really fast. Now we do have to watch out for the, the wage creep. We're at 72 so far. That is not too bad, I guess. But you know, obviously as these people level up, they're going to be significantly more expensive. So we do have to be careful of that. Metz and Strasbourg. They're both over here uh, to the east. Let's go Metz first. And I think we'll probably start taking some big fights here. This Barbary 14, we can definitely handle. Oh, somebody doesn't have... Who is that? Is that Wolvenia? Ah, uh, Wolvenia, we didn't give you a... I forgot. That's my bad. Oh, and they're close too. All right, let's rearrange the line, make sure that we're somewhat perpendicular. Let's get some javelins in them so we can whittle them down just a little bit. Oh, we're getting a little loose here. Oh, come on. Don't die. Don't die. All right. I see some casualties here. I don't think anybody's dying yet, though. That's good. There we go. All right. So we... Yeah, I saw at least two people go down. Uh, luckily, injuries. So that's... Three people that have gone down. We are due. The next one is due for a death. I mean, that's not how statistics works, but you know, expectation value. The next one should be a death. So we got a little bit of XP here on our own. We did hit 25 throwing. That'll help out some. Kaifa did go down, but took somebody with him. Frixus. Yeah, everybody got a little something there. Julius again, topping out. That's really, really strong. And Rodinus. The new people didn't really get too much in there except for Ephemerius. And we got some troops we can take. We're obviously not going to do that. We can't do that anyways. All right, there we go. I think Wolvenia got a horse out of it. Yeah, you got a mule. We'll, we'll swap that out at some point. Let's go draw speed. I We're at some point hopefully going to get impaled. Maybe, maybe not, but I'd rather not have to respect. I'll probably forget is the biggest reason. Let's keep going up to Metz. And we still want to keep taking these fights as they come up. So let's do that. Let's try this from a, a little bit different angle here. Let's, again, we'll try shield wall. Yeah, they're not going to hit anything from that range. Let's go ahead and throw javelins once they get really close. And hopefully they can't miss. All right, we got to keep hitting that guy till he goes down. There we go. Oh, man. We took a big hit there. All right, we can get some flanking hits. Oh, no. So cover him. Cover him when he goes down. All right. They're running for some reason. They just immediately split. All right. Only seven. I guess we killed half of them, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, not, not much we could do there. Kaifa with two, though. That's pretty strong. Some people took some damage. Yeah, Rodnus. I was going to say, I heard some people get hit pretty hard. But again, everybody, we're giving everybody that perk that gives them, as long as you win the battle, they'll be able to fight in the next one. So we can get them back in here again. We got some helmet upgrades, some boot upgrades. Uh, sadly, we, oh, never mind. I was going to say, sadly, we do get the disorganized, but it didn't matter. They were running right to us anyways. And again, we'll shield wall up. That seems to work better. We, we need to have longer pole arms. We need to get a nice pole arm wall. Oh, wow. We're missing everything and our, our companions are hitting everything. Let's start commanding. All right, shoot wall forward. Let's push him down. Push him down. There we go. That's how we do it. So we got Wolvenia with three. There you go. That's how you get in there. Onigus with two. Not too bad. And I'm going to try to remember to do this every once in a while after every few fights or whatnot. But 
we do have the mod called battle stats so if you look in here it tallies up how many kills everybody's gotten so spartacus main character 27 kills pr's personal record that's the the highest kills they've gotten in a single match so seven uh, kills per wounded i think it is oh sorry kills per battle so three kills per battle is what we average wounded once nine battles oh man oeno with two wounded so he's lucky to be alive he's fought in nine battles yeah you can tell who's the ogs because they got nine and then the next next level og <laughs> but yeah we've got some people so demetrius actually even though he's not been in here the longest got 10 kills so this is a really cool mod especially when you do a campaign like this now i'm hoping once it gets long i really hope there's a scroll wheel that's one thing i didn't test if it's just one thing and you can't even see the bottom that would be kind of a bummer but we'll see really glad i was able to find that mod and add it in here so if i don't show it too often remind me i will try to get it in there and again we are on our way to mets now we got this little fox blade thing we've already got a bunch of them but we'll just sell it Right, we're getting clobbered here. We got to try and... There we go. Alright, we actually survived that one. There we go. Uh, we're not going to live through this, though, I don't think. This is going to be a tough one. No time for blocking. We just have to attack. And and just hope that we whittle them down. Oh. <laughs> well, we went out with a blaze of glory. Uh, we are definitely not using bow and arrow here. Let's try and block up until the point we get shot at. Uh, we don't want to get shot with a bow and arrow. As you saw earlier, you can get one shot from doing that. I don't know what that guy's aiming at. Oh, we have a we have an archer back there still. I forgot. There we go. All right, we're getting the hang of it. It's definitely a different experience doing tournaments with these mods. Really happy the way it's turning out though. It, it's very different from vanilla. And I love seeing the different uh, the different weapons and the loadouts and gear and stuff. It's it doesn't feel like it's a different game completely, but it, it does give you a different experience. I, I'm enjoying it. Oh, there's one down. Oh, he got us on that one. He's almost dead. There we go. It's gonna say it'd be kind of sad to lose it at the end. So a thousand. We're back up to just over a thousand. And what kind of gear is that? Yeah, 600, so it's not terrible. It's actually better than some of the ones that we have. Yeah, it, somebody swapped it out. Rudness. And then we'll pick up another 6k from that. Sweet, we got more food. We've got money. Yeah, they don't have enough money to pay us for everything, but that's fine. We we uh, we can pick up a few more people here. Let's actually do that, and then we'll move on to the next one. We got Rufus Stanielikos. Stanielikos. I need to practice this, man. Some of these names are kind of hard. Not so much that they're difficult to say that I'm just not used to it. I gotta get the uh, like the flow of it. Almost like when you're when you're listening to music, you know, it's got like a certain cadence to it when you say it. But he looks like he's got some pretty good gear, so I'm happy about that. But probably doesn't have a horse. He does not. Uh, but oh, nice. He's got some uh, a set of pila and a good looking scutum. It always sounds weird saying, right? Oh, Rufus, you have a very nice looking scutum. Almost sounds like you're saying his scrotum, but it's an odd situation to be in. That's for sure. Wolvenia, we need to replace your mount, although we're not going to do it here. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're definitely not doing it here. Uh, let's pick up a couple more mules. And we've got Jacksonius Bologin Bologinus. So I know in Italian, when you do that, it's kind of like Bologna, Bolognius. I don't know if, if it's different in Latin. Like, do you pronounce it Bolognius? I'm going to say Bologna, Bolognius. I'm going to say Bolognius. I probably sound like an idiot, but that's what we're going with. I feel like Bologneus is... <laughs> it's, I feel like that's even worse. Oh, man. Pick up a mule. That'll leave us with just over 2k. So that's actually quite good. Well, and then we can sell those. And again, he's got some good gear. Yeah, the Gladius is a little short for my liking, but the Pila and then obviously the Scutum. Another gentleman with a fine-looking Scutum. There we go. Look at that. 11. That went really fast. Yeah, that was, that was really fast. And... We're also almost a clan tier one. Not that that makes a difference, but you know, whatever it's worth. So we can take up to 28 people in our main party. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, prisoners. Beautiful. So we're getting 81 for each one. So a pretty good price here. That'll put us back up to 3,700. 
And we do, we're do. we probably not going to put a whole lot of points into trade, but we, we got a little something something here. We got 30 parry capacity for the party. I think it's probably going to be worth it. Barter for safe passage, probably not something we'll be doing a whole lot of. So let's go carry capacity. We've got Strasbourg and London. Interesting. So we can get some two-handed if we wanted. Strasbourg is probably the closer one. London we can get to, but we'd have to sail. And that's going to cost us money. I think I haven't really spent a whole lot of time doing the sea travel, but I think it costs you more depending on how many people you have to transport. So, you know, a couple people is only, you know, maybe 20 dinars. But if we have 20 or 30, maybe it's going to cost us a couple hundred. Another scudum, Nice. Something tells me we're not going to be able to get enough of these things. Oh, wow. Our betting has gone down a lot. So 150 to win 292. That's that's not even two to one. So pretty bad. I burned through one. Oh, that's our own guy. <laughs> there, man, we just tearing people up with this thing. This spike. Yeah, it's not even a mace. It's just this giant spike. All right, let's help our buddy out first. There we go. Yeah, the AI is kind of catching on to it too. I see him thrusting a lot. So we're not getting good odds, but we're going to keep betting. Might as well. Oh man, kind of embarrassing that I missed that. Oh my. <laughs> All right, well, okay, we're embarrassing that. Let's smell up my little skirt. All right, let's see what we got. Probably take out a shield. Yeah, this thing doesn't do... Oh, okay. I was just about to say it doesn't do a lot of damage, but that, that was a lot of damage. We one tap to shield. There we go. So we won this one. Not too much of an issue. And again, we're making less than a thousand. Costs us 600 to make 370. That's not really worth the risk. We'll probably still do a little bit more betting, but I think at some point in the near future, we'll probably stop. So is there anybody that does not have a shield? Just make sure that they get a shield. Now it looks like everybody's equipped, so we'll just give it to whoever and then sell what's left. Now, I don't think we want to go up to London. We'll we'll deal with that another time. Let's see where we're going next. And we're actually already on number 10 on the list. Looks like number one's only 17. Interesting. That's not very many. Usually it's in like the 30 to 40 range for the uh, the tournament master. So Hamburg and Venezia. So Hamburg is up here. Now, here's a tough one. They've got... It's all infantry, but there's 24 of them. Let's... Oh, wow. I was going to say, let's stick on the 10, but that's probably too much as well. Yeah, they're all just kind of sticking around each other. Well, just keep moving. We'll find another group to fight. All right, here's Hamburg. Got to rest a little bit. For a level 50 one-handed skill, I'm thinking probably swing speed is a little bit more important. The damage would be cool, but I think the swing speed is just going to apply to everything in case we decide to use one of those. There's a lot of cool looking one-handed weapons. They're probably not that great, but they at least fit the era. Amata sleeved. I have no clue what that is. I would assume for the arms. Okay, well, for the body, that's actually even better. So we don't want to screw around on this one. Yeah, the wagering is, is pretty bad. All right, let's make sure that they don't go after... Yeah, this guy's getting by himself. He's kind of by himself. Let's make sure he doesn't get 3v1. Oh, not quite 3v1, but... You little punk. Yeah, they're getting ganged up on here. Sadly, there's not much I can do about it. Let's uh, let's deal with the cav. And we do almost no damage. Oh, he got us in the in the leg. Well, that's one tournament down. Absolutely nothing we could have done about it there. I it hit him a lot, but our skill's really low, so our pull arm just doesn't do that much damage. And then our our team was trash. That one guy was going out by himself again. Got 3v1. Uh, it's pretty frustrating. I, I kind of wanted that armor. I don't think our body armor does anything for us. But that's how it happens. We got Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Co <laughs> I don't know how to do the O. Copenhagen. Basically Copenhagen or Köln. We probably need to go back to Köln. I don't think we're going up into the... What is it called? It's not Sturgeon. I mean, it is, but it's not. What do they call these guys? Sturgia. Oh, they still call them Sturgia. Interesting. Yeah, let's just go back to Köln. It's close. Expensive Greaves. We could definitely use that. Uh, I know we already have good boots on ours, but 
I'm sure there's a companion that can use them. Right, we'll bust his shield. All right, we need to switch right away because this guy's going to get 2v1'd again, like always. There you go. We're not messing around with anything else. I guess we'll throw the Pylum. Maybe we can just take out their shields and stuff. Ooh, or miss. All right, we're getting work done here. All right, this guy's got no shield now. Oh, <laughs> not that they need it. I mean, they just one tapped our buddy, and then we went could have one tapped him. We hit him before that, but 200 plus damage is pretty good. Let's skip the bet, just in case we do something stupid. There we go. And we're still getting only three renown. I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, I think we need to upgrade our gear is, is the issue. Once we upgrade our gear, we'll probably go into the higher bracket. Maybe it'll give us better betting as well. But let's at least see where that leaves us. Yeah, it's it's better, not by much. But we'll pass it down. We got some basic little, not even shoes. Jeez, those are like uh, foot wraps. So we'll sell those off. And again, we'll continue to put points into throwing and polearm. Probably just do it equally. And then maybe two-handed smithing and riding. Although, yeah, I don't know if we'll do too much riding. We'll, we'll probably do it anyways. Genova and Orléans again. Let's go to Genova. I would like to fight some bandits on this on this trip, so let's probably do that. Genova all the way down here. Okay, well, that, that's kind of where we wanted to end up anyways. So we'll take this opportunity. We'll chase down some bandits. See if we can get these guys separated. Nope. There's, I was going to say, where's the 14? Because those for sure. And it says that they're better. Yeah, I don't know about all that. They're actually pushing into us right off the bat, even with cavalry. So let's try and pick off... At least the... Oh boy. Well, we took out a shield. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, well... Wow. That... <laughs> oh, and that horse went flying. I was gonna say that reminds me of um, Anchorman, right? That escalated quickly. Wow, these guys do not mess around. And all we managed to do was take out a shield. Or, uh, yeah, with our, our javelin. We didn't really do anything else useful, so... But luckily, their, our cav are, are taking them out. Oh, somebody's gonna go down here, maybe? Wait, whose shield went down? Or, whose horse? Oh, man. So, a couple people are going down. I do like the way they charge with RBM. They're a lot more organized. They try and wait for each other. So they're not just going in one by one like the, the typical vanilla. It's it's really annoying when you see him doing that. Uh-oh, he's probably dead. Who is that? He's got good equipment too. Oh, man. All right, let's check out the damage. And unfortunately, Oengus did pass away on this one. Took one now on his way out though, so he, he did go down fighting. But uh, unfortunately, he died. That is 100% my fault. I saw the one spear, and I thought we'd take him out with the javelin. And then there was a second spear, and then they all dogpiled after the horse went down. So that's unfortunate. Uh, Demetrius really coming in strong here with five kills. A couple people with two. Oeno with two, and Rufus. Wow, that's, that's a shame. Rest well, my friend. You get buried in the beautiful French countryside. Or, well, German countryside. This is probably, what, the Rhine is my guess? Or is it further west? Yeah, I think this is the Rhine. So you got a you got a nice burial spot. Now let's rest up here for a little bit. We've got some time. Yeah, our party wages are starting to stack up pretty pretty high. We're still able to put a little bit of money in the bank just from these battles. So I, I don't think I'm too worried about money. Even just fighting some small looter parties. Or I mean not looters, but you know, any of the bandits. I think we'll be in decent shape. In the previous episode, we continued to win tournaments and cut down bandits. Oeno Mouse was wounded twice, but survived the ordeal. We reached the top 10 in the tournament leaderboard and lost our first companion to mountain bandits. We hired six new companions and lost Oeno Goose. They're not really paying us much for prisoners here, so let's actually skip. We'll hang on to them for a little bit longer. Now, we can probably stop at Leon before we um, before we make our stop at the next place. If if it's if the prices aren't good, we can just sell because we'll probably want to take another fight before then, anyways. Eight fifty eight uh, eight twenty five. It's not great, but it's better than what the last place had at least. Well, we got Shepardius here, and he's going to cost only two thousand, so that's a very good replacement. 
we still have 5k. I think we should probably hold off on recruit more until we save up some cash. We also held on to a couple shields, so that'll come in handy. And we'll get him an old workhorse. So there you have it. Welcome to the crew. Hopefully you survive longer than <laughs> longer than the last guy. All right, we're on our way to Geneva. That's it there. Yeah, let's let's take this fight. This is a Batanian. What are these guys called? Batanii Raiders. So they've got some tier two, three, and four. It looks like. Dismount! Let's actually dismount for this one. I feel like we have a pretty good chance. And we'll go straight in the shield wall. Like this guy looks like he's naked, man. <laughs> like uh, you know when the. Uh, your girl wears like an oversized sweater with no pants on or anything. It's like a like pajamas, I guess. That's what that looks like. All right, let's get these boys involved. Oh man, to the throat. Yeah, these guys are just destroying everybody. These guys got these guys got sniped out. Wolvenia with three, very nice. Rufus with two. Owen and Mouse with two and then Demetrius with one. Oh, interesting. I was trying to see if they had the stats for the guy that died. I honestly don't even remember his name already. <laughs> I'm a terrible commander. Yeah, I'd be a terrible leader here. I was trying to see if they had his stats, but I don't think so. I, I don't I don't think he's on here anymore, is he? Yeah, I'll put something in editing if if he if he is, but I don't think so. 12 and we have 12. No, he's he's dropped off. So I'll have to keep an eye on this once in a while just so we can get some good stats. But D Demetrius with 16 kills, Crixus with 9. So there's some there's some uh, overachievers here for sure. It's really interesting to see the kills per battle too. Some people are, are doing quite well. Make our way back. Now this is interesting. These are some pretty big looter parties if they get bunched up. Let's just, uh, we'll, we'll take a smaller one though for sure. There you go. And these little grindy battles, I'll probably just edit them out, but we'll at least show the end screen so you can see who got what. Well, Venya with two again, Rufus with two, pretty good. Here we go, finally made it to Gemina. That does take a while for sure. This one's got another Scudum. It's a long name. Yeah, it looks decent though. And yeah, we're still getting tier one, interesting. Didn't really run into too many hiccups there. I did notice that polearm that we have on the horseback does absolutely no damage. I had to switch to my, my mace. <laughs> I'd use the thrust attack from my mace to actually down him. He was doing like 10 damage per hit. Kind of interesting. Uh, who's getting the shield? Kaifa and Efulmerius. And you know, we, we're not really in a rush to sell stuff. Let's just hang on to it. We'll build up a stack, you know, a little bit of a stash. And that'll make it easier when we hire new people because we're going to be hiring very, very quickly. I would like to get out of the uh, kind of the slave gladiator phase as soon as we can. It's not the most interesting to watch, I guess. Now we gotta find out where the next one is. Ancona and Marseille. All right, Ancona is actually down here. Let's let's travel down the boot. Now Venezia is actually being sieged. That's really interesting. I wonder who's sieging. I, you know, we purposely built these guys up so that they would really perform well on their own. Most of the the clan leaders have a high, you know, a high tactic skill, so they should be able to hold their own. Now this might not be too easy of a battle. They've got twenty two people. Oh, we're just going to charge straight in, I guess. Don't die, man. Oh, here's a repeat of what happened last time. <laughs> oh, man, Julius. Yeah, we're losing people here. The, the rain is really playing into it because we've got n almost no movement speed at all. Yeah, we're losing a lot of people. We might have been better off just going on foot. Uh, it's kind of late now. We should have done it in the beginning. We've already lost a few people. We needed all of the numbers that we could have gotten, but all right, let's go shield wall, and we're just going to have to be really hyper aggressive about helping our people out. I will right, we'll be first to the line. Oh. Oh, man. Their defense is pretty good. They, they're willing to skirmish. They're not trying to... They don't look like they're trying to oh, flank us or anything. Oh, yeah, they're flanking on this side. I'll pick some people off. Oh, wow. They're already running. Oh, man. We lost well, three injured, but no dead. Man, that had me nervous. But all these people heal up for the next battle, at least. So we got two. Crixus with two. Jackson is, Jacksonius with two. Yeah, we need to get these skills up a lot. 
we got a long way to go. Long road ahead of us. Yeah, those three got injured, but like I said, they'll come back strong. Now we're going to dismount Everyone these guys from the start. All right, let's move them up. So we, we don't have a lot of people with the long range weapons, so we need to do it manually. We need to get them in range by just moving them up. If you give them the charge command with this mod, they're just, they're a little bit passive. But if you manually move them up, they actually do really well with short weapons. So three kills with us. Let's see, Rufus with three and Wolvenia with three. Wolvenia is doing really well. And Rufus actually, both of these. I'm wondering if it's weapon based. They seem to be getting some javelin kills, some throwing kills. That's Maybe that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. We should probably work on getting everybody one set at least. And one thing I did forget to do is choose everybody's lifestyle. Everybody here is a gladiator. Yeah, everybody that joins us in the beginning is is automatically going to be gladiator status. So, And it's not going to do anything now, but once we get to a high enough level and our companions are starting to compete with us in the tournaments, then they'll start to get some bonuses from that. And it also fits in with the lore, right? These are all supposed to be slaves. There we go. Looking good. Let's head over to Ancona. Ooh, that's a big group. Now nah, he's going to get snagged. Yeah, unfortunate. I kind of want to try some tougher battles. I know in previous ones, you've probably seen me be a little bit more conservative than normal. I think on this one, especially being slaves, we got to really fight for everything that we get. So, yeah, look at that. That's what it is. They, the ones with the, the javelins, they're just getting kills right off the bat. Let's move them up. Come oh, on, push into them, boys. Oh, no, no, no. Not like that, though. You guys are supposed to be feared gladiators, man. Don't... <laughs> Don't die to these little peasants. All right, we got one injury, Jacksonius, but uh, no, no deaths. That's really impressive. Rufus with four. Wolvenia with five. That is really impressive. And then Kaifa with three, Demetrius with two. Yeah, we got to put some urgency on getting those uh, javelins up. I think we should do that pretty early on if we can. So here at Enconia, let's hold off on selling some of this stuff. We want to make sure we keep our food, our animals, and I think everything else. Actually, I think we said we were going to store it up. We're a little more than halfway, but we can probably hire some mules. Let's increase our capacity. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just hang on to it. For a two-handed, I don't think we need to worry too much about busting through shields. So we'll go strong grip. I, I do like wood chopper. It's it's a really good perk. But I think for the build that we're going, I think uh handling is gonna be a little more important. Some brass greaves, again with the greaves. Alright, don't put us on a horse. <laughs> Puts us on a horse. Horse. What we might end up doing is actually just dismounting. Yeah, I know for a fact we can one-shot these guys. If we just Trust with the mace. And then we can deal with the cavalry later. Yeah, look at that. No way we lose this now. We can still use the pole arm. We'll just take out the horse instead of the rider. Oh, wow. That did five damage. Yeah, this is doing nothing. <laughs> All right, let's try it with... Let's try it with the mace. Yeah, that was... We almost one-tapped the mace. There's something wrong with that weapon, I think. Maybe the, it's bugged in the system, because... It should be a decent... Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. The, this this mace does more pierce damage than a giant pole arm. A little odd, but I get it. Uh, we're going to do it right off the bat this time. Yeah, let's take out both of the... Uh, actually, you know what? We don't want to take both of them out. We don't want to fight a 3v2... There's one. Yeah, really strange. I, the only thing I can think of is the weapons bugged. Well, he didn't have too much fun here. Look at that. There's two things sticking out of his chest. So we'll put that in the win column. We're actually pretty close, I think, to being the tournament champion. Let's check it out. We only needed 14. I think we're probably close to 10. Uh, we're at 12. And Olek has gone up to 17. So we got to catch up a little bit. 
Zagreb and Vien. Let's go to Vien. I don't want to go south again. And we'll take small fights like this along the way. Not too bad. Jacksonius with three. Demetrius with two. And Rufus with two. Oh, we forgot to sell our prisoners. Whoops. Yeah, we're starting to collect them again. Well, we'll stop at Venezia if it's not being sieged. No, it's being sieged. And by the Kazate. So the town is actually getting sieged now. They're assaulting. It's fine. Let's just keep going. We're not too far from Vienne. Yeah, we're not really having any issues with these Barbari. We could probably take on bigger parties. Demetrius, Rufus, and Wolvenia with three kills each. We actually have some people getting close to 200 on some of the skills. That's that's the kind of the progression I was hoping for. First thing first, let's get rid of the prisoners. Almost two grand. That's pretty good. Pauldrons. There we go. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah, we'll take a nice set of pauldrons. Now, this looks like it might actually be the next level of the tournament. Is it? No, there's still recruits in here. Never mind. Not too shabby. We got ourselves some pauldrons. Probably not even worth doing the bets anymore. We're just not making much. And it has been a little while since we sold some stuff. Let's do that. I would like to get a few more people in the party. Yeah, let's actually get Crixus a, uh, some kind of pole arm. And we could buy some really cheap javelins, but it, maybe it's not worth it. 300. Maybe we'll just put it on the guys that uh, were kind of the OGs. Yeah, that's fine. We'll buy a couple sets. Let's sell everything else. 23k. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll definitely work. We can work with that. And let's go replace mules. We got a couple people in here with mules. And we reached level 9, so we're getting pretty good progress here. Let's put another point into... Seems like we're using throwing a bit more than polearm. But we've got Gregus here. And just under 4k. Not too bad. And we've got Tiberius Legasius. Just under 4k. Beautiful. We can afford that. And we got ourselves a, a horse archer here, I think. So this is Mebsina. We'll probably dismount. I don't think we're going uh, too many horse archers in this one, but we'll see. And we've also got Gremlinia. <laughs> Only 2k. That's what I like to see. Now let's actually go through and just make sure everybody's got gear. We've got quite a few people without horses. Let's make sure we have enough money. Right, Mebsina already has it and also has got the bow. You know, we could... Should we? Hmm. We'll, we'll leave it for now. We can rearrange it later if we need to. Wow, look at that. Stack size is 50 for one quiver. The Nomad Arrows. That's pretty cool. And we've got a few people that don't have shields, so let's give them the dumpy ones. Yeah, so at least everybody will have a shield. And finally, we've got Tacticadius. 3,200. Very, very nice. We'll probably pick up a few more at the next town. This one only had five. I mean, I say only, but uh, yeah, that's a lot. And let's at least give a dumpy shield. We'll buy a, a cheap shield. We don't want to get caught off guard. But actually, he had a an old Sumter already, so that helps. Well, onward and upward, we got to figure out where the next place is. Prague and Vroklov. Now, our wage is only 160. It's actually not too bad. So I think we can keep expanding somewhat aggressively. I think once we start getting to that, you know, 500 range, that's probably when we need to scale it back just a little bit. But just absolute mayhem. These guys destroyed... Did we not sell our prisoners again? I think I might have forgot. All right, Crixus with two. Let's see, did, did any of our new people get one? Uh, Mebsina got one. That's a new. Yeah, we did sell our prisoners. Nice. I would like to find some decent units to fight. I think those mountain bandits had pretty good gear. These bottom buddy have just absolute trash, but we can take them out fairly easily. So it's it's not it's not terrible to farm these guys, but I think we'll probably be better off attacking something that's a little bit stronger, but maybe not too strong. You know, we don't want to take on nobles or anything yet. But that's that's going to be where we're going to get the majority of our gear from. Fighting enemy nobles. So, oh, you know, we dismounted one of our archers, didn't we? Oh, there she is. All right, well, hopefully she can get some shots off. <laughs> this is a slaughter, man. They're getting destroyed. All right, well, nothing left of those guys. That was really fast. Crixus, Demetrius, Jacksonius, Oeno, all with three. Got a little smattering everywhere else. Oh, look at tac Tactic. That is actually... <laughs> I didn't realize that was kind of a tongue twister to say. Tacticadius. Yeah, that's not that easy. And that'll fill out the rest of our prisoners. Let's go dump them, see if we can make some money off of it. We should also probably start looking for some hardwood. Actually, there's there's a place right here. Let's see if we can buy it. I think maybe doing a little bit of smithing would not be a bad idea. Even if all we're doing is just smelting stuff down so we can get unlocks. It's only 9 dinars. Let's buy a decent amount of it. 
and then we'll go do some smelting and, and refining. That's what I'm talking about. We can pick up two grand, so that puts us above 10k. And now it's time to do some refining. Now, if we do refining on our main character, every time we push this button, it makes us wait. So two hour, or sorry, half an hour for every hardwood that we convert. But if we use one of our companions, we could refine as much as we want and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, so he can literally refine most of that. Oh, we just jumped up to 238. <laughs> yeah, I, I upped the XP gain mostly because of the combat skills. They're really slow to level, but it kind of throws everything else out of whack. They level up a little too fast. I don't really care though for, for this campaign. This isn't supposed to be, you know, some grindy whatever. We're just trying to get through the, the smithing we're not going to be using for money. We're just going to be making gear for. So I don't really mind too much with that. I don't know that we're going to be able to craft a whole lot here. This is mostly just junk, but we'll, we'll see if we can get some unlocks. We'll do a couple of them and if we don't get anything good. Oh, no, we can only do one. Yeah, literally just one. But it's not a big deal. We make pretty good money on that, actually. Yeah, because the charcoal, converting the charcoal, we, we make good money doing that. Oh, this, this two and a pull arm is actually worth a decent amount. We're not going to sell it because we're not selling our craftist stuff. We'll probably just equip it on somebody. So let's throw it on here. Now, one thing I do like about this mod, I, I maybe it's a little immersion breaking, but it doesn't put the pull arms because they take up so much space and they just go flopping around everywhere. It's kind of... I mean, yeah, it's a little more realistic, but it's kind of annoying to see. I do like the fact that they took it out, especially when you're in combat. I can't tell you how many times I've had a giant pole arm, like 250 length, and it just, you have this gigantic line down the middle of your screen, and you can't see where you're aiming at or who's coming. It's just, um, I, I do like that how they did that. So let's sell everything else off. 5,300 is not too bad. Now we do have Asetius. I know you're going to be super expensive because you got all the gear, but kind of want to find somebody with gear. Oh man, that's more than half of what we got. Yeah, I mean, we can't say no. We already started the conversation, so we'll take them, but not too happy about that. In all fairness, it's probably a good price. Like if he were to sell all the stuff that he has on him, it's probably worth more than that. Actually, let's let's go test it out just because I'm curious. We're not going to sell it, but I am curious. Actually, no, it's not that much. This is about 700, 1700. Oh yeah, it's definitely more. Okay, never mind. It's a fair price. Yeah, if we sold everything he had... Oh, no, I take that back. No, it's not. It's probably about a third of what he had. Yeah, so maybe it's better to just buy him cheap and then get your own gear. But that said, Estus, welcome. Not going to complain about having another person. A brass attic helm. What is an attic helm? Ooh, that looks pretty fancy. Now, we are starting to get a little bit better uh, wager here. I'm wondering if we're in a different tier. We're in tier two now. Okay, that's probably why. I think we did put on the shoulder pads. That probably helped. Oh, we can't thrust with the we can't thrust with this thing now. We'll see if we can get our hands on a pole arm. Oh, okay, never mind. This thing does pretty good damage. Oh man, he's <laughs> our enemy is knocking him down. Alright. This is not good. So we might have gotten just a lucky hit that first time because, yeah, 17 damage is not enough. Oh, we need to get out of here. Oh, just barely got out. We still have four people alive, though, so we're, we're actually in decent shape. Now, we do have a pole arm. I don't know why I didn't think of that. No, he's just blocking everything. There we go. No, it does absolutely no damage at all. Right, that's our ally because we're red. Let's deal with the rest of these guys. There we go. And we did a clean sweep. And this thing is doing no damage. I mean, we did get an upgrade in in terms of our opponents. So they probably just have better gear. That's my guess. Yeah, this guy's not taking much damage. The thrust is pretty good. Oh, right in the face. 231 damage. Alright, this guy's taking some damage. <laughs> and he almost one-shot us. Alright, well, good thing he didn't hit us in the face, but... Yeah, we can't afford to take too many more hits here. There we go. I think we're going for a shield here. There we go. 
two hits and he's gone. So five renown, yeah. So we are starting to make more renown from these. We'll very quickly climb the ladder. Especially once we start stacking up the influence from being tournament master. I think that'll be fine. And we should be able to swap our helmet out here. 13,000. It's a good looking helmet though. Look at that thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang on it for a little bit. I, like I said, we want to probably start getting the gladiator gear at some point. We got level 100 on, on our main character. So either melee damage or combat movement speed. No shield or ranged weapon equipped. That's probably not going to happen too often. So let's actually go melee damage. There are some times where we're going to have just the two-handed sword maybe. But it's probably going to be not as often. Yeah, Krakow and Vrok Vroklov. Oh, I think I might have said that wrong the last time. Vroklov. Krakow and War... I think that's Warsaw, right? No, I, I said it right last time. Alright, I'm getting it mixed up. I like that they use the names that are kind of native to the language that they're in. I always like when games do that. All right, so let's head over there. We're probably going to try and pick as many fights on the way there as we can because that's really going to be the only way we're making money here. Tournaments are not all that great, although I say that and then the prize we just won was worth 13 grand. So we probably just need to sell some some of that stuff instead of keeping it. Back off, not much worth covering here. We got Jacksonians with four at least. And I don't think we have anybody at 200 yet, but we are starting to hit the 175 mark. That's a pretty big milestone. Yeah, we should be getting some good perks here. And we got some more shoulder pads here. That is kind of nice. I don't think a lot of our people have too many. Yeah, I don't think anybody's got shoulder pads yet. No, we're not going to be doing any bow and arrow here. <laughs> Just one shot that guy in the face. Round one done, not gonna lie, that was kind of painful chasing the guy on the horse. Alright, luckily this one's on foot. Yeah, that one's much easier to deal with. <laughs> like I wanted a bow and arrow duel. Not gonna happen, buddy. Yeah, we just chased him down and shanked him once. Now, I gotta be careful here. He's got some good momentum. So that, that arrow might do a ton of damage. But not really a concern now. So let's see how good these shoulder pads are. And these did get the upgrade. There's like a 10% chance that they become like a better item than it normally would be. So like this one has the fine modifier. So yeah, it's pretty good. It doesn't look bad. I don't think this is... I think this is a vanilla piece. I could be wrong on that, but I think this is a vanilla armor piece. But it doesn't look out of place, so I don't mind it too much. You know, let's actually keep our weapons and see if we can smelt some of these things down. You know, let's actually make Crixus our scout. We've got a few points. Now, yeah, the, the beauty of doing it like this is you don't have to... We're not going to have anybody doing all these all the time. I do this so that it's a, basically just a template that I can use. So if we want to have a horse archer, they'll probably just use one of these skills the bow and then you know riding everything's already here and then if i want to do a two-handed throwing on foot it's already done i don't have to switch around yeah it looks cheesy it's like oh this guy's so overpowered but we're not gonna we'll, we'll keep them in a roll and we're not gonna you know switch between the two but it just makes my life so much easier when you're managing 200 companions or whatever it's gonna end up being it's, it's gonna be more than we've we've done in the past i think before we got up to maybe 100 120 or something like that this one's gonna be more for sure so for my own sanity, we'll do it this way. But yeah, the smithing <laughs> definitely overpowered because this this skill levels up way faster than any of the other ones. But uh, these level up really slow. Even with the XP, the bonus XP, it's still really slow. You know, we should probably have one of our other guys, the the OGs. So Owen the Mouse is going to be the medic. So Scout is going to be Crixus, Surgeon, Owen the Mouse. Yeah, finding them is really hard. So. <laughs> Especially if you, in the early game, and you have somebody die. That's pretty brutal. So we got these two guys in there. Dude, I was wondering why we had so many people. We've already got 18 people. Man, this thing's going fast. And we did hit clan tier 1. We're not quite... We're a little more than halfway to clan tier 2, at least. So that'll go quite nicely. That puts our, our party up to 56. I don't think we could afford that many, though. Yeah, that's that's probably going to be a bit too much. Now we've got Lena Arbisqueli. And that one, I believe, is somebody who tends to small trees or bushes or something that's kind of a cool name but let's make sure you've got a 
Let's see, yeah, old workhorse, that'll work. Shield, you're good to go. So we'll just upgrade slowly over time. Krakow is pretty far, but it doesn't really matter. We're, I think at this point, we're trying to take on as many bandits on the way as we can and still fulfilling our duty. Now, here's a good looking party. Yeah, we want to fight this. We're still in the lead, but yeah, that might be skewed by some, some weird RBM mathematics or something. Since we got time, let's move up the hill a little bit and get ourselves just a little bit of altitude over these guys. Oh man, here come the rocks. Oh, these are legit looters. How did they get in here? <laughs> what the heck are they doing here? Oh, we forgot to go to shield wall. That's not good. Defensive, boys. Defensive, defensive. Alright, let's, let's come over here to the edge. Seems like they're loading up kind of in this area. Alright, they're starting to flee. Let's finish them off. Beautiful. I don't think we lost anybody there. That was a really good fight. But uh, granted, we took out a decent amount before they even got to us. So yeah, having those javelins is going to be really key. Right now, it's not a big deal, but once we start taking big fights, it's going to be a little bit scary, and I don't want to lose too many people if we don't have to. So six kills personally. A couple people in here with two, three. We got Estius with three. Oh, and a mouse with four. Yeah, Tacticus with three. Pretty good. Yeah, that was a big battle. 33. That was a good test for us. And we actually didn't take too much damage. Kaifa, yeah, Mebsina, Ephemerius with a little bit of damage. But overall, I think pretty much unscathed. All right, we got a rugged Gamson from the looters. We should probably try and get rid of that at some point soon. I mean, we're not going to turn down free gear, but it doesn't really fit the game. Yeah, I'm not sure how the... There's like one random looter squad that got through. That's really bizarre. I'm wondering... I wonder if the AI can trigger quests or something that causes them to spawn. All right, we got to Krakow, but unfortunately there's no quest here, so I'm wondering if it just finished. Warsawa and Gdansk. So let's go to Warsawa. Yeah, it's not too far anyways. Here we go, another 30. Oh, these guys actually have a better power level. I'm wondering, so the looters, I'm curious to see what kind of gear the looters had. Yeah, I'm wondering why these guys are, these guys have less, but their balance of power is actually higher. Man, they're super accurate. Look at this. I was kind of worried when I did my testing. There was a lot of battles where they, they would throw almost their entire quiver, or whatever you call it, their, their stack size. And they got, I don't know, two hits out of like 30 people. You know, five, five throws each. It was kind of embarrassing, actually. All right, let's, let's get some action here for our, our troops. Oh, like I said, nope. <laughs> He's out of here. Yeah, I don't think we catch these. Oh, you know what? Or well, maybe we do. Oh, just over his shoulder. All right, we'll, we'll catch them. They have some decent gear. So Crixus with four, Onimaus with five, Wolvenia with four. Yeah, kind of all the usuals. Is anybody 200 yet? Not quite. Oh, so close. Rufus is actually really close to 200 on athletics. That's okay. Here we go. So Wolvenia did hit 200. So 200 athletics. And we got to get rid of our prisoners. Yeah, we're wasting it now. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip some spears here. Make sure everybody's got at least one of each weapon. And let's go ahead and finish off throwing. And we'll put one more point into pole arm. We're almost there. And let's just auto resolve. That, that'd be kind of hilarious if somebody died here. Let's hope it doesn't. But yeah, nobody died. <laughs> Can you imagine? Good old Tail World's auto resolve. Here we go. We're... Oh, 68. Okay, so we are starting to see the big 2x, or yeah, the, the 2x party size. 68 is a, a serious amount of troops. Looters. Oh, I see that. That's what they did. So I think the mod that increases the party size is spawning in troops that are not part of the mod, the, uh, the Eagle Rising mod. I think that's what it is. So anytime we see people that are looters, it's probably not supposed to be them. But it's okay. It's it's not going to really change anything. I, I don't, These are low tier. All that stuff's getting sold off anyways. So we'll pick up 6,400. That should be enough for at least one companion. If they're cheap, maybe two. Uh, but let's see. Prisoners. Okay, actually, we got another 2,200 from that. In the previous episode, we fought outnumbered against several bandit parties and won. We won several more tournaments and upgraded our armor. Rixus became the quartermaster and Oenomaus the surgeon. We hired seven new companions. 
I would like to take this fight. I don't know if that's such a good idea, though. That's more than three to one. It, it may not be a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, if they were like 40, somewhere in the 40 range, we might be able to take that. I mean, we got to do the tournament. That'll g give us some time to think. So straight saber. Don't think that is supposed to be in here. Oh, I totally whiffed that. That was an easy shot. This guy's actually putting up a pretty good fight. I see we can get a, a cheeky shot off. There we go. <laughs> I honestly, I, I feel like I'm hitting our own guy more than I'm hitting theirs. All right, there we go. Good thing there's no melee friendly fire. That would be bad. You know, I was thinking about it, you know, it'd be really bad one of these days is if I accidentally friendly fire a companion and they actually die from it. Imagine if that's the way you go out. Got killed by your commander. All right, we're actually losing this. We are down, yeah, two to four at this point. So we got to make something happen here. This sword seems to be shorter than what I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, I just need to get used to it. But okay, we evened it out at least. Okay, now we're ahead one now. Yeah, I just need to adjust. Like, that that thrust right there f felt like it should have hit for what I'm used to, but... Yeah, I think I just gotta get used to this one. There we go. Well, there's the archer down. Oh, wow. He aimed that really well. I was trying to angle off to avoid it, but he predicted that. Good old Tailworld's math actually working for once. So, five renown, a sword that we'll probably end up selling anyways, but let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a dump. Well, it says it's an upgrade though. Interesting. Yeah, it says it's a better sword. I don't know about that, but let's see how it compares to some others. So this one has got some decent stats, but man, it's short. Yeah, I don't know if we want that. Let's go with, no, it wants to put it back. Swing cut damage of 86. That seems off. Yeah, considering everything else is in the teens. So that might be a typo, or it could just be completely unbal imbalanced. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I'm curious if that's what the damage actually is. This one says 201. What does ours say? 149. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. 25. So for level 50 pull arm, we've got 25% chance of dismounting with a heavy hit, or 30% chance of knockback. I know knockback is pretty good, but I feel like Hitting cavalry, if you can get a, a good enough hit, you could take them down. There's not too many cavalries that you're going to be able to one-shot just because they're going to have better armor. So let's actually go braced. We've got another companion with some really good gear. Let's check them out. So Carthius, Sumberiai. Oh, I was, was going to say, don't don't <laughs> don't be too painful. 5,700 we can handle. That's not too bad. I was thinking maybe 8 or 9k. Yeah, a pleasant surprise. Welcome to the team. And we got a Sumter Horse for you. Yeah, look at that. Some Pila. Pretty good gear here. Not great, but not terrible. And we've got one more. 1600, yeah. We got Aeneas. We'll make good use. But that, man, that's cheap. We could maybe go for another one, actually. Well, let's see. We gotta get a cheap shield for him, at least. 230. But <laughs> what the heck is that? It looks like somebody did some basket weaving and put a handle on the backside. That doesn't look like it stopped much. Maybe like a, a sword slash? Like, maybe one or two before it falls apart. Interesting. I mean, it is a cheap shield, so I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do. But is 21 enough to do 3v1? I don't think so. Yeah, if we had really good gear on everybody, I think we could probably handle it. But let's, that may be a little bit too much. So let's go for something a little more conservative. Yeah, I think if we had like half, at least half, we could probably do it. All right, here we go. So we are starting to get to the point where we can assign groups. So for now, just to make simple we're just gonna throw everybody in one group i know we've got an archer in there but she needs to get some melee xp as well all right this should be interesting i don't think any of them's gonna survive to our line we keep missing our shots though all right oh wow 91 damage okay we're backing out we'll let the boys handle it oh we just lost somebody 
Yeah, whatever pull arm they had, we want. Because that thing did so much damage. Alright, so one went down, but no deaths. Oh man, Carthius. Our newbie. Yeah, kind of not too surprising. First time in battle, probably gotta get rid of the jitters. But uh, Demetrius with four, that's pretty good. Actually, we haven't done a kill check in a while. Let's check on everybody's kills, see how everybody's doing. So we're at 58. Demetrius is not too far behind with 36 kills. Well, Venya, not even one of the newer people, or not, not one of the OGs. She's doing really well with 29 kills. And we've got some people down here that are just getting solid performances. Jacksonius, 1.27 kills per battle. That's really solid. I think overall, most everybody's doing pretty well here. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this up for a couple seconds. You guys can pause it if you want to check it out. And on the very end, Carthius <laughs> didn't, didn't do too well last battle, but that's all right. You survived. That's the important part. Uh, luckily, we survived too. Man, that spear to the face was pretty nasty. It, 60, it's not going to happen. That's just not, not in the realm. It, actually, you know, if we had a bunch of javelins, we could probably do it. Uh, where are we going next? Krakow or Gdansk? Let's go to Krakow. Actually, no, let's go with Gdansk, because that's going to have the right culture, Imperium. We want to get... I, I, I want to stay away from the horse archer stuff. It just takes too long. Yeah, not really much to look at here. We'll venue with three, though. Just hogging all the kills. Yeah, we didn't get there in time. How far are we? We're one under. Yeah, we can We can definitely get it. Let's uh, let's try and get... Let's try and be the, the tournament master. Gdansk and Zagreb. Oh, why did I come down here? We were supposed to go up to Gdansk in the first place. Yeah, I got scatterbrained here. All right, let's go up there. The other option is Zagreb. Yeah, we don't want to go further south. Yeah, I think we'll try and auto-resolve this one. We'll take it. And I'm curious if anybody got injured. Aeneas, Carthius, and Mebsina took a little bit of damage, but not much. And, and our main character. Here we go. There's some sea raiders here. We'll definitely take that fight. Oh, wow. They've only got 12, and their balance of power is right up there with us. So they've got some high tier ones. Yeah, Sea Raider Chief. So we should get some good gear from this at, at the very least. Make a shield wall. Move. But let's get out front and see if we can pick off some of these high tier guys. Oh, there's one down. Alright, here's another one. Yeah, we'll be able to take him out. He's taking a lot of damage. But these javelins are so brutal. <laughs> Well, we tried to take one out, but at least we got the early ones with the javelins. But yeah, pretty much they didn't even make it to our line. And I suspect that's going to be a theme this campaign, which I'm, I'm really hoping it is, because that'd be a really fun way to win these tough battles. I, I, we're going to probably be fighting against nobles at like a three or four to one ratio. So it, it's going to be good practice for us. So Demetrius with three. Ulvenia with three. Man, you are just killing it. Yeah, Demetrius up to level 200. Yeah, there's some decent gear here for sure. Some throwing weapons. We're going to want to take a better stack. Throwing axes. I don't know if we need the throwing axes. Although throwing axes wouldn't be a terrible idea. They, they do a lot of damage to shields. So I wouldn't mind having that at least. And we got another helmet up for grabs here. But this one looks like it's going to be an, an upgrade. Yeah, it's it's the standard one from the vanilla. All right, beggars can't be choosers at this point. Yeah, we're in tier 3 now. So we got to be a little bit more cautious here. Luckily, we do some decent damage. Wow, this guy's taking no damage to thrusts. There we go. She took some damage, though. I, the other person seemed like they had really good armor. So our one hit is at 83. It's, it's getting there. I, I like how RBM makes it so that weapon damage types actually do what they're supposed to do. So like swing damage is almost useless against decent armor. Thrust is is pretty good. And for level 75 one-handed, we're going to take shield bearer. It removes the movement speed penalty from wielding shields because we will probably have shields at least half the campaign, I think. And maybe the other half will do two-handed, but we'll see. And flexible fighter, not as good as hunter. I think having the 40% damage to mounts with throwing weapons is pretty good. Yeah, that was a pretty good helmet. Passed down a lot of stuff to other people. Now, we do want to put some throwing weapons on people that don't have it, even if it's just a throwing axe. It's better than nothing. And we'll sell some gear. I don't know how we got crude fur. I, I think it was 
Uh, I'm assuming it was from those, um, the Sea Raiders. But we'll take it. That's, that's a lot of money. It's almost five grand. So 10k, we can probably take some more companions now. We gotta start being a little bit more cautious. Wages are starting to go up. Oh, we have prisoners too. Let's, oh, 113. Well, let's get rid of them anyways. Yeah, I'm sure we'll take another fight before we get to the next place. Let's have a chat here. We got Lucius Anguius. And this means, let's see, a light. Lucius means light. Anguis means dragon or serpent. So like a light dragon or serpent. Pretty cool looking name. And yeah, we'll take 4,700. That's not too bad. We got to get a, probably get a mount here. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's just do a mule for now. We can replace it later. And nice thing here, it comes with the shield. So that saves us some time and money. And we've also got Leobinius Starcus for less than 2k. So we can afford to take several of those types. Now we do need to worry about shields. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have one. No, he has one actually. Wow, why are you so cheap? I mean, I'm certainly not complaining. Welcome to the party. And we got ourselves somebody spicy. Lavinia the Stout. Not too many people were putting uh, nicknames, so that's kind of cool. We got somebody with the nickname the Stout. Add a mule. You got a shield already. Actually, pretty good armor for how cheap. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And as far as arenas go, we got Stockholm and Copenhagen. Stockholm. I wonder if we can actually get a ride there. Let's take a... Yeah, we can. Ooh, it's pricey, though. Yeah, man, that... The cost goes up drastically when you start adding people. So I don't think we want to do that because, I mean, even if we get a walk up there, it's not that big of a deal. We'll start picking off bandits along the way so we can make money. Here we go. Stuff like this. Yeah, they didn't even reach our line. Kathios with two kills. Oh, and I kicked him in the water. I don't think we can catch him now. Oh boy. We, ha we have to take the ferry on this one, I think. 1600? What the heck? Is there another way to get across? We'd have to go all the way down around. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea. Like I said, I, I want to fight more battles against looters or, you know, these little bandits. But we'll just take our sweet time. Uh, we'll get some auto resolve action in here too when we can. You know what? There's some sea raiders here. I do want to take that fight. Even if they group up with these other ones, I think we can handle it. No, we should be fine here. Yeah, the bounce power is pretty close to them though, even though they're we outnumber them. All right, let's see how serious these guys are. They've got... Three, oh, only one sea raider chief. Actually, we want to find where he is and try and pick him off, preferably before these guys get to him. I think it's the fancy pants. All right, fancy pants. No, it's not. I don't think it's him, actually. No, it's not. Oh, man, we're having a, a javelin duel. <laughs> These guys do outrange us. Let's actually move up. Just move right past. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Only three left, but we just lost two people from them. So they're, they're a threat no matter when in the battle it is. Like, if it's the last person alive. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We lost somebody. Tacticus. <laughs> Tacticatius died. I hadn't been with us that long. That's unfortunate. So who got the kill there? It was a Sea Raider, and I'm assuming it was with the Javelin, but those spears were pretty nasty, too. Man, that sucks. All right, Onimaus rode on us with two. A lot of people got hits, though. They, these guys were not going down. They're, I, I could see why the bounce power was where it was, because they're pretty tough. Oh, we'll go lick our wounds. Yeah, we, we had quite a few people with low HP as well. But on the bright side, we did get some decent loot drops. We got, I see these Javelins look pretty good. Ah, oh, sadly, Tacticadius did not survive. I was rooting for you too, man. <laughs> oh, that's how it, that's how it happens, though. That is how it happens. So Onimaus, starting to move up in levels, which we need because he's going to be our medic. So healing rate, well, stationary probably because that's when we're stopped in uh, towns and stuff. Wait, let's hit up here real quick and heal. We've got a few people that are pretty severely injured, and we got to get rid of our prisoners. You know what we should probably do is let's go. Let's go replace a few things. Yeah, we do have quite a few people that don't have any throwing weapons. So we'll want to fix that as soon as we can. Now, we could pick up some crude wood. Yeah, let's do that. I think we should do a little bit of smithing since we're here. We just want to get XP for unlocks. So let's use our main guy. There, that's everything. And actually, we got quite a few unlocks for that. So again, the pull arm, the two-handed pull arm is going to be pretty important right now. Yeah, not all of our people have pull arms, so let's just craft a few of these. They seem like they were doing okay. Weapon reach is only 126, but what can you do? 
Oh, I didn't realize we used our main character. I was trying to use the other guy. That was a mistake. All right, let's make sure everybody's got a good pull arm here. There we go. So that'll work. Hey, let's, let's heal up. We got a few people that are still pretty injured. So we hit level 11 on our main. We got our final point going into pull arm. So one handed pull arm and athletics are all capped out. I think two handed, maybe riding, although yeah, we'll probably do some other stuff first. Smithing for sure needs to be done. We want to get those two free uh, attribute points. And that's just about everybody. Let's take a quick look and see how we're doing. Yeah, we're tied for first. We need to do a few more and get a little bit of a cushion. So Prague and Copenhagen, we'll definitely do Prague next. Oh boy, that's a big group. Very tempting. They're actually scared of us. Or yeah, it says that we've got the, the balance power. Let's try it. And let's actually, since we have some time, let's move back to a little bit more of a hill. Forward. Yeah, this one's still in play. We'll go all the way back here. I think an RBM having the height advantage makes even more of a difference than it does in, in the base game. So we'll make sure we have a little bit of an advantage here. We're going to need it. 51. I, I'm hoping that we can thin at least maybe half of their numbers before they reach our line. Although that might be a bit optimistic. Right, we're starting to thin them out. Yeah, pretty accurate. And they've only got they've only got some pebbles to throw at us, so it shouldn't be too bad. Right, we should be able to take a few of these out ourselves. All right, they're starting to pile up on this side. We got to get as many of these guys out as we can. We're doing okay, though. We're holding. I don't see anybody going down yet. Yeah, they're starting to flank. All right, we need to do something. All right, they're starting to push back. So let's actually reposition here. Let's make sure we're not getting flanked. Ooh, they're running after him, boys. Oh, they're going to get out with 10. But overall, a good battle. So we got 10. We didn't lose anybody. I, I'm kind of curious to see if anybody got injured, which I'm sure they did. There were some. So we got nine ourselves. Not bad at all. Demetrius with six. No surprise there. Rodinus with five. Quite a few other people with, with a good contribution. Actually, are we... Yeah, we're above 200 on some skills, but not quite there on others. Throwing is almost at 200 here. Now, these are all against low tier. Once we start fighting higher tier, I think our XP is going to grow quite a bit more. So we just got to be a little patient. Actually, we didn't take much damage at all. Tiberius took the most, but even that's still above 50% health. So that was a very good battle to take. Let's uh, let's see if we can finish him off. Yeah, we should be able to all resolve that. Yeah, no injuries. Kills spread all over the place. And back to heading our way towards Prague. Hopefully we see more big parties like that. I would like to see a bunch of them. We might need to clear out a bunch of these smaller ones. Just because, like I said, I didn't load that mod from the very beginning. Just because I, I saw it after it had already spent a couple hours setting up the campaign. I, and I didn't want to reload a new one. So we need to wait a little bit. Here we go. Another another helmet. Okay, these tournaments are starting to turn into a bit of a snooze fest. Because the armor is outpacing the weapon damage. And the, the skill. We don't have a lot of skill in our character yet. Well, it does help when you hit him in the face for 160 damage. Well, we got it anyways. So, six renown. Yeah, we are starting to get up there. And we still have some people that don't have a good two-handed pole arm. So, let's keep working on that. We actually still have quite a few people that don't have a pole arm as well. We, we just were... Our party size is really growing fast. Yeah, it's... Uh, Party Wages is over 300 already, but like I said, we're not really worrying about it too much until we get to 500. I think that's kind of the breaking point. Now, sadly, they don't have a whole lot of money here. We're going to have to go somewhere else to make money, and we're going to need that to recruit more people. Zagreb and Copenhagen, that's pretty far. You know, we haven't been up here yet. Let's let's go up north. Pretty easy battle. Got 18 looters out of here. Barbarus. Oh, and they're, they were mixed, actually. Now, here's some of those Batanii raiders. I think they, they have better gear. Ooh, they're all... They're actually all ranged. That's not good. Yeah, I don't think that's worth fighting. Just uh, been a lord in general, but especially in RBM, the range units are really strong because the shields don't really block everything. It is really satisfying watching a whole wall of people go down to javelins. Yeah, no losses. 21 kills. And let's see if we can get up there pretty soon because we do have some prisoners we got to get rid of. They're slowing us down quite a bit. All right, how much is this going to run us? 1,200. Ooh, man. Forgot about that. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. That's really pricey. 
It's alright, we'll go to Hamburg. Oh nice, they actually have a, uh, a tournament here anyways. 2500 for prisoners, that's not bad. Let's see what kind of money we can make though. Yeah, I would like to start hiring more people and really get the party going, but it's a little scary when you see the wages going up that fast. It's alright, when in doubt, just do a little smithing, right? Now we are starting to unlock some better parts here. Quite a bit more damage. Yeah, the harpoon head's pretty good. So we'll start making these. There we go. Everybody has a two-handed pull arm at least. And just so we don't accidentally sell this thing, let's just melt it back down. We've got another archer here. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Now I don't know if we want too many archers. At least not yet. You know, what we'll do is let's actually take that away. I know we have another companion as well. So I think what we'll do is let's actually get rid of that. Now, this is probably going to eat up most of our money, but we want the uh, the good gear. So, Henrius Kawas, 24,000. You better be made of pure gold, man. What in the world? Well, let's go see if we can sell some things. I don't know what else we can do. Yeah, we've got some stuff on the civilian side that I guess we could use. There we go. So we filtered through everything. 12k. Yeah, we made some decent money out of that, but I can't believe that guy's so expensive. Well, another positive here is a lot of our people that didn't have throwing weapons now have it. Yeah, I think we're only short a handful of people now. All right, Henrius. Most expensive companion award goes to you for sure. Probably not even close. It's all right. You do have some pretty good gear there, so I, I'm sure it's worth it. So just a heads up, this is a new recording day for me. I spent all day yesterday recording the live stream World Conquest series, and it was about a 14 hour stream, and I absolutely wrecked my voice. So it's trashed. I, I still have two days without the kids being super loud, so I'm going to try and get as much recording done as I can. Uh, I apologize, my voice is extremely annoying. I know I probably sound like a 90-year-old um, like librarian that smokes too much. But uh, I'll try and get through this uh, with as little annoyance as possible. <laughs> so bear with me. But like I said before, I'll probably edit most of these battles out there, getting a little repetitive. But we at least want to keep the story moving along, so we'll chime back in once we get these done. Here we go. We put two javelins to this guy's jugular. So much for blunt weapons, I guess. There we go. Finished it off. We got the helmet. Made about 390 gold. So it, the, yeah, the dinars are not really worth betting in this case. And we actually did reach clan tier 2, so that increases our party size up to 58. It's not a huge deal because we can't hire that many people anyways. We can't afford it. But at some point, we will. So helmet looks like it's been passed around quite a bit. We got a little bit of money for it. So we'll head down to, I think it's Köln. Yeah, we're going to go to Köln and we'll try and find uh, maybe some bandits along the way. Yeah, here we go. It looks like these actually have bow and arrow. Oh, you know what? These are the vanilla ones. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is what I was referring to earlier, where that mod makes bandit parties double the size, but it only does it for the base game units. Yeah, see, there it is again. Not the ones from, from this mod, so it, it's all right. We'll see if we can deal with it. Uh, since these are all archers, I think we're probably better off dealing with these guys mounted. It's going to be really hard to close that gap. I just hope nobody gets shot in the face on the way in. We got one down. Oh, yeah. Well, good thing our armor actually does protect us a decent amount. Sadly, I can't aim for beans. Uh-oh. Somebody's in there. All right. All right, we gotta move in. This guy's gonna get dunked on if he's in there by himself. Alright, we got it. Yeah, that was a little bit, a uh, little hectic, but everybody survived. A lot of prisoners, though. We should be making good money on these. And a lot of good armor, actually. These guys had really good armor. Yeah, we'll fight more of that if we find them. I don't know if 17 is a good idea, though. That's a lot of bow and arrow. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we're going to get killed if we do that. But 19 of these bada bada we can definitely handle. We'll definitely dismount for this. We're going to pummel these guys before they even get to our line. Oh, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't even reach our lines. Look at that. There's so many javelins. They're just everywhere. And they're massive, too. These aren't... These aren't like the vanilla javelins. These things are massive. Oh, and a mouse with three. Pretty good. Bunch of people with two. 
Yeah, I'm really curious to see what happens if we can get their throwing up to 250. Get everybody. Maybe we can take on parties that are like two to three times our size. That'd be fun. Now, here's a party that's only got six people, but they have a ton of prisoners. It looks like they took out some peasants. I think they might have some pretty good equipment on them, too. Yeah, they didn't even make it to our line again. So, unfortunately, we can't take any of these. We can take some prisoners, though. So, let's get rid of our low tier, some of the barbaros. So, they didn't have that good of armor. There's no upgrades there for us. Let's keep working our way to Colm. We're getting a pretty interesting mix of weapons here. We got a 180 pound war longbow. I don't know if we're going to end up using too many archers, but we've got equipment for it, so we might want to save it. I'm not sure. Yeah, for sure the shields we're going to get rid of, though. These, these are mostly junk. We'll save a couple of them. Oh, actually, they don't have any money here. These guys are broke, and they have a, a Pugio. So this is going to be a pointless weapon for us, but we'll take the money and the XP anyways. We're getting a ton of damage from these thrust attacks on these small short swords so maybe it's it's even better in this mod i'm not sure but very very effective and that dumpy little pugio is worth 132 dinars what the heck <laughs> oh wow that's kind of funny actually well i mean it makes sense the the town is broke they've got six dinars in their bank account and they're giving out prizes worth 132 so it all checks out and that takes us to level 100 on our one-handed so we can double the amount of renown from tournaments and 20% damage while wielding one hand without a shield. Two hit points and then XP for troops after battle. The hit points, two hit points is pretty much negligible. Let's take the duelist. I feel like we're going to be doing a lot more tournaments anyway. So we'll, we'll make full use of that. And for the 125 perk of athletics, we're taking braced. Minus 50% charge damage is incredibly important. Yeah, especially when you pair it with level 225 polearm. You basically take no damage from charge from mounts and charge damage. So let's go ahead and increase our vigor. We got three more to do and then we'll top, we'll cap that one out and then we can get the rest from these two. Now we are maxed out on one-handed polearm throwing and athletics. We need to start doing smithing, two-handed and probably riding. Although maybe not so much riding. I think probably two-handed. Maybe we'll do smithing last because it is kind of a pain having to sit in town and, and spend all that money. But we can just use our companions to do most of it. Well, I almost forgot. We got to sell our prisoners too. So 2,500 for that. We're back up above 10k. So I think we should probably set some kind of budget. Maybe have at least 10. No, I think 10 days is not enough. We need to have like 20 to 30 days, like at least a couple months of dinars in the bank account before we start expanding more. 11k is enough for what we have right now, but if we hire somebody, it's going to drop well below that. So yeah, well, I'll think about that for a sec. But there, there is, there's some pretty big groups over here. We got to see what, uh, what we can do here. I don't think we can take all these all at once, but maybe we can bait some of them to chase and get them separated. 19 is probably doable. Uh, what have we here? Yeah, I think we can do 19. Now these are Hillman, Brigand, Highway. So these are the regular, these are the regular troops from the base game. Now I know they have a little bit of cavalry in here. So let's let's hold our uh, let's hold our our javelins. We don't want to throw those at absolutely nothing. I don't think they're going to hit these these cav as they're moving around. We should be able to knock out a lot of their their infantry. Yeah, they do have a couple javelins in there, but. Let's actually Whoa. spread them out a little bit. It seems like the cab are going to come in at the last minute. So that might work in our favor, actually. Yep, yeah, here they come. All right, let's, let's go ahead and loose these javelins here. Oh, man, we're taking some hits. All right, we took out most everybody. They still got... Yeah, man, the javelins are so brutal in this. Let's let's group back up again. Looks like they're going to be coming in hot and heavy. Oh, did we take out one of their cavalry? I think we took out one of their cavalry. So it's just the one left. Alright, this guy seems to be picking up javelins. Or maybe uh, it's weird. He charged. Usually they don't charge until they've used all their javelins. Oh, we got his... <laughs> we got his horse. He's in deep trouble now. Oh, but he's picking up our javelins because we're missing. Oh, what a shot. Rodin us with the save. Okay, so I think one of our guys went down. Hopefully he didn't die. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, Tiberius. Tiberius Legacius. We got a man down. He took one with him, Bo. But, oh, that's brutal. Yeah, one. only one person went down, but it was an instant death. All right, so we got three kills. Couple people with two, a lot of people with one. So it looks like everybody's getting pretty well-rounded XP and, and uh, contributing here. That sucks. All right, Tiberius. 
you did your best. Now we do have a couple of people that don't have any javelins, so let's go ahead. Yeah, Grimlinia, she needed it. We still are missing on Liana. Yeah, a couple of these actually don't have javelins. We gotta work on that. Maybe we'll just buy some dumpy cheapo ones. Well, rip. And we're getting a, quite a few of these companions hitting level 200, which is gonna give us plus two ammunition for throwing weapons. So even those, those Pila that have only one or two in the stack, they're gonna get full benefit from that. So that should make a pretty big difference. In the previous episode, we won a Kazate tournament, became the tournament master, lost a companion to a tough sea raider battle, and lost another companion to a tough mountain bandit battle. We hired several new companions and lost Tacticadius and Tiberius Legacius. All right, they still have a couple groups. Let's see if we can pick on a few more of these before we move on. Yeah, I feel like we can probably clear some of these out. Right, yeah, 24 is a bit too much, but if we can get one of them separated, like this group of seven, or, yeah, actually, even just the group of 17, that should be doable. Although they seem to think they're ahead. That makes me a little bit nervous. All right, again, with two cavalry, that shouldn't be a problem. The cav are starting to throw javelins from behind. There's not much we can do about the cav. We just have to focus on the infantry. I feel like they're the immediate threat anyways. Let's deal with these guys. Oh, man, we're, take we're taking some hits. Yeah, people are going down. But we're, we're taking them out as well, so it's not it's not completely lopsided. And we did take up one of the cav again. It's only one left. All right, let's let, let this guy come back in. Uh, somebody take him out. Oh, man, he's toast. Yeah, there's no way you survive that. Nice work. Oh, okay, so we got two people that went down. Nobody died, though. Oof. Leobonius, Starkus, and Maximus Decimus got... Both of them went down. So Kaifa with three, a couple people with two. Yeah, a lot of people getting close to 200 with the with the javelins. And we got a lot of upgrades from that, actually. Yeah, they had, they had a lot of good stuff. Now, all that's left is that group of 24. We don't have room for any more prisoners, so let's actually go back to Koln, drop off the prisoners, and then let's try it again. Yeah, another 2300. All right, here we go. It looks like, yeah, they're not really that interested in the fight. They have a slight advantage. It's all infantry, though, so this is going to be kind of like a duel of javelins. Yeah, we got to be super careful here. You know, actually, maybe what we should do is just hide behind the horses. Maybe they'll provide a slight meat shield. Let's see if that helps. I don't know if it's going to help at all, but yeah, we, we need to find some way to minimize the damage we're going to be taking here. All right, we're, we're inflicting some casualties. This is really good. All right, let's scoot up a little bit. Oh, they don't have a ton of javelins, actually. Oh, they don't have any javelins. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. This is not that hard. All right, we'll finish them off right here. Beautiful. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Let's go take a look at the carnage. Yeah, look at that. The leg, the chest, the spleen, chest. Man, that is brutal. No losses. Asedius with three. Parthius with three. Bunch of people with two. Again, very solid performance. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous about that, but since they don't have any ranged weapons, it actually made a pretty big difference in our favor. Right, what about upgrade? No upgrades. Yeah, it looks like we have better loot than what they've got. I think we're going to get most of our upgrades when we start fighting nobles. I made it to Strasbourg. They don't have a tournament and they don't want these prisoners. So let's see where the next one is. Metz and Perry. Now this group of bandits just took a bunch of prisoners. We should be able to pick them off pretty easily. Pretty easy, no losses. Everybody got a few kills. Back on the road to Metz, there is a tournament there we can pick up. And they'll, they'll give us almost 1,900 for the prisoners. That's not bad at all. And it's... Ooh, nice. We got a good two-hander. Interesting that it's at a uh, Empire settlement as well. Oh, no. Sorry. This is Vlandian. Oh, man. This whole tournament was kind of a drag because every hit would be 6 to 10 damage. So it was really, really grindy. But then that last one, that two-hander to the face did a huge amount of damage. So it looks like our perk is actually working. We got plus 15 renown from a single tournament. Betting is 1,000, so it's it's okay. We're making 400 from that. And we got our two-handed steel, the Thamaskeen steel two-hander. Now, this one is exclusively two-hander, whereas the one that we're using actually can go one-handed and two-handed. It's got swing cut damage of 16, thrust damage of 5 pierce. This one does 31 and 7, so that's a pretty significant increase. The problem is we don't get to use a shield. So that, that might be a problem. But I think it might still be worth it because most of the time we use we use a little great 
our little iron great sword in one-handed mode or two-handed mode anyways. So we'll still be able to utilize it. We've got a pretty big dude here, Phallus Begalus. And he's going to cost us 2800 That's not too bad. We've also got Edgar von Brandenburg. Fine gentleman with some decent gear. Costing 7600 though. That's, that's quite pricey. Yeah, I don't think we want to go too much lower than that. Let's get their equipment done and then we can sell some stuff to make up for that. Edgar actually has some really good gear on. Kind of looks like Captain America a little bit, but... That is America's ass. Man, look at that shield. That is cool. But at least he's got some throwing weapons and a one-handed sword. Phallus, we're going to need to pick up some, some javelins. Actually, do they have cheap ones? They have them here, but they're super expensive. I don't know that we can really afford that. At least everybody's got a shield. That should be fine for now. Yeah, we'll hang on to a couple shields. Let's get rid of all the gear that didn't get upgraded. Oh, unfortunately, they don't have any... I didn't realize they actually don't have any uh, any money here, so we can't really sell much to them. But they should have plenty in Paris. Yeah, look at this guy. Man, he's, he's ready to go. Yeah, they're not even getting close to our line, so these are just all going to get edited out until the end so you can see who got kills. Actually, speaking of which, we need to check on the stats. Yeah, let's real quick take a, a look and see how everybody's doing. So a lot of people are getting above one kill per battle, which is really good. Some people have already racked up 50, 40, 50 kills. That's incredible. And then in the mid tier, it looks like not quite even half kill per battle. I suspect this has a lot to do with the equipment that they have. Maybe the javelins aren't quite as good. And then down here, yeah, look at that. All the way down to zero kills per battle. These are the new ones though. 23 battles, only a single kill. Liana, what is going on here? We got to fix that. Actually, let's let's check the equipment and see if there's anything wrong. Same with Leobinit. Leobinius, I think there might be some issues there. So Leobinius does not have javelins, and that's how the vast majority of the kills are, are made. So I think that's probably what's going on. Same thing with Leana. Yeah, getting those javelins are going to be really, really important. So we need to we need to go do that. Now, one thing we can do to counteract that is we could hold fire, and let's see if we can get some decent kills here. All right, here we go. Let's see how the shield wall does. They seem to be holding up okay. Alright, we can push forward. Yeah, we'll just keep marching forward, marching forward. Oh! They're all fleeing, so we'll just let them do the thing. Alright, there we go. Now let's see who got the kills. So we got Kathias, Liana with two kills. There you go, getting on the board. Leo Binius with one. So I think that's what the issue was. It's just a lack of equipment. So I think maybe we need to spend some time crafting so we can make we can make our own javelins because those are super expensive. Right, well, back on the road, we got to get to Paris before this tournament ends. Oh, wow, there's some big parties here, though. Yeah, I think we want to do that. Yeah, that's a lot of people. 61, but I think with all the javelins that we have, I think we can probably handle it. All right, well, let's see what happens. We might need to hold fire here. Oh, no, they're hitting. They're hitting. Yeah, their aim's fine. All right, we're taking them out. One per hit. This is pretty good. All right, here they come. We got to be ready for it. Oh, boy. They're coming in hot and heavy. Oh, I don't know how that other side's doing. I got to hold this side. It seems like they're bunching up on this side mostly. Oh, we can't let them flank. All right, here we go. They're running. Looks like we did it. Nice. No losses. So we got 10 kills. We got a couple people. Crixus with five. Oh, Ona Mouse with seven. That's pretty good. Bunch of people with three. Very solid performances here. Yeah, a lot of levels from this too. That's going to help out a lot. And a ton of loot. That's what I'm looking forward to. Now, I doubt we can catch these guys. Actually, no, they're running straight into us. We were able to catch the rest of them as well. Yeah, we're pretty severely overburdened. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get to Paris as soon as we can. And we got prisoners. Oh, they don't want them. 46 dinars for 23 of them. Yeah, that's not good at all. We can get a nice long spear here. Actually, we need a couple more of those. We got the win. We got the spear. And again, the money's not really there, but not much we can do about it. At least it's good for a renowned game, which we can't get outside. Yeah, fighting fighting the bandits just doesn't give you much at all. Uh, let's see if this thing's any good. 1500's decent. So looking at the leaderboard, we are 22. Next highest is 17 wins. So we're well in the lead. We shouldn't have any issues getting to clan tier th uh, 3 or 4, or even beyond that. Yeah, we should be in good shape. It looks like a bunch more in the Vlanding area, so we'll head down there. Nantes? I don't know how to pronounce Is it Nantes? 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 
Let's play Nante and then Leon. It's interesting because I've seen these names for, I don't know, thousands of hours playing other games, you know, the map games, but you'd never hear it pronounced properly. You know, it's just, there's no chat in that game. So you get used to reading it, but you have no idea how it's actually pronounced unless you speak the language that it's in. So, but I, I have no clue, but I thought that was interesting. And we got another two-hander. Wow, Blandians like the two-handers. These two-handed axes are trash, or at least they are against armor. It seems like everybody's got decent armor and it took forever for that one, but we still got it. And more importantly, it's given us some two-handed skill. And it doesn't seem like anybody around here wants slaves. So I'm wondering, I guess maybe they're not having issues with labor. Now the other town that had it is Leon, so let's head down there. There we go, just picking up a little more XP and some money so we can hire more people. Right, there's a lot of guys here, we're going to try a little bit different tactic here. We're going to try and push earlier on in the fight. See if it makes a difference at all. And once you guys start, once there's only one or two people thrusting, we're going to push forward. So we'd love to get the spear wall going i think if we have even longer weapons it's gonna work even better like one guy left yeah that worked out really well we took no losses that's something that we could definitely use against much bigger armies i think we'll have the quality advantage which makes sense because we are professional gladiators a decent performance from everybody now one thing i did forget to take into account is our herding penalty we do get a bunch of animals so we got a strong chicken a strong goose interesting we got some trade goods like linen and some things like that as we got we got loot and we don't have a whole lot of meat so oh we can't chop these up oh yeah we can chop them up we just can't do it after we've already done some trades so let's see how much meat we actually get from these things oh no you can't chop them up never mind but they do sell for a decent amount so we'll get rid of them all so we made it in time we got a helmet with mail let's see if it's any good yeah it seems pretty good actually Oh, got that one as well. And again, our, our money is just going down. I mean, they're pretty easy to win, so I don't mind betting it. It's it's not really a good risk, though. 600 to win 300 is, is not really ideal. But let's see who gets the sh the uh, the nice helmet. Actually, a lot of people got good helmets out of that. Yeah, Ronandus. Yeah, look at that. Now, this place has a lot of money, so we can sell pretty much everything we have here if we need to. I don't think we need to keep too many things. Maybe we'll keep some of the higher-end items just in case we don't come across them very easily. But I think this low-tier stuff... Probably not a big deal. We'll just get rid of it. And again, we'll keep some of the higher end shields. And as far as weapons go, this one's really good, but I don't think it's quite as good as the one we already have. So we'll, we'll keep that equipped. We'll pick up a few pieces of hardwood. I don't know if we're going to be able to craft too much though, because we have a lot of weapons and we only have a handful of charcoal and hardwood. So that complicates it a little bit. Actually, because of all the stuff we've been collecting, we were actually able to get most of the, any of the weapons that had any kind of hardwood that come out of it. We were able to smelt it. Now we've got 22 and 27. So not bad at all. There are some high tier stuff here that we can we can smelt down. Like we can get some Thamaskine steel even from this thing. That's really good. There we go. So we smelted everything down. We've got a little bit of Thamaskine steel out of it. And we got a lot of materials. So we should probably start crafting some of these things. I think we need a few more pole arms. So maybe we'll make a few of those. Actually, do we have... We we can make a few, few things. Looks like, looks like we can make an even better recipe. We don't really want to deal with swing cut, but thrust pierce seems like a pretty good idea. Most of these are cut damage, so we'll just do... It actually looks like this Imperial Simple Spearhead is better than the Harpoon Head. So maybe we'll make some of these. And this weapon actually does Spear Brace, so we can make some of these. Oh, sadly we only have one hardwood. We can only make one. Yeah, we should have saved some of that. Whoops. And Henry Iskaus does not have a pull arm, so he's going to be the first one to get that. I do want to get ones that are quite a bit longer than this, though. This one caps out at 176. It's a little bit longer than the other ones that we were making. This one's 126. So it will give us some extra reach, but if we can get into the 3-400 range and then use our, sh our shield wall, I think it's going to be an incredibly powerful formation for us. We only need two more, and then we do need to start getting some throwing weapons. So let's see if we can find some hardwood somewhere. Odrissa actually has hardwood, and it's kind of on the way to where we're heading anyway, so let's go pick that up. Oh, wow, we took a loss on this one, actually. Right, I'm not sure why. Let's keep pushing. I still think it's a pretty good strategy, but I gotta look back and see what went wrong here. Alright, see so if we can take these guys out on their way out. Oh, top of the guy's head. He got hit in the top of his head. Alright, two of them got out. We did lose somebody, but it's only injury, so Lucius still survived it. And look at that. 
Henrius, we just gave him that new pole arm and three kills out of it, so... It's only a small sample size, but maybe it's a good... Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Maybe it's a good trend. But made it to Odrissa. Let's see how much wood they got. 260, it's quite a lot. We don't want to slow down too much. We are going to go overburden here a little bit, but I think it's worth it. We need to get to town, and we're not that far from it either. So maybe we'll do... Actually, you know what? We can probably just buy the whole thing. It's really cheap. Yeah, and we our movement speed is very, very slow now, but we're not too far, so we'll just limp our way there. The nice thing is we're still under the employ of the Empire, so we do get their protection. We don't have to worry about getting attacked by anybody, other than just bandits, obviously. So before we do any of that, let's deal with this shoulder-strapped kite shield. Oh yeah, this thing looks juicy. I, more importantly than just the hit points is the coverage. It, it takes up more than the picture, so it probably has a really good coverage area. All right, we want our shield. That was pretty easy. And this is a little bit of an upgrade, it looks like. But it's interesting. It didn't actually take it as an upgrade. So it had more hit points, probably more coverage, but it gave it to somebody else. We'll sell more regear. We're going to be well above 30k. It's probably time to start recruiting more people, like uh, a lot more people. Uh, we do need to do some smithing though, so let's save a little bit of money so we can pay for the, the forge. So I went ahead and made quite a few of those longer pole arms. Let's see, looks like some people are getting the upgrade, some people aren't. We'll have to do it manually because actually this one's pretty good. Yeah, some of these are still decent. The, the problem is the length isn't good, so I think we'll probably have to just do it manually then. I think what we'll end up doing, let's just smelt all these other ones down that we got. We accidentally made some pretty crappy ones, so... <laughs> We'll have to get rid of them. Let's smelt them down. And that it did actually unlock quite a few things. Maybe it makes sense to do some upgrades here then. Let me think about that here. Yeah, we we, we can make quite long pole arms here because we've got some items that extend. And also the, the actual shaft is, is crazy. Yeah, 250 length on this one without putting any of the extra stuff on. You know, maybe what we'll do is let's actually just go back in. We'll take everything off. We'll just craft smelt a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that until we get exactly what we want. So one thing I've noticed is some of these lower tier parts are actually better than the higher tier. So if you look at this one, for example, actually these are all tier 3. I know there's some tier 4 parts that are better than what these are, but this one adds 60 length, which is insane. Yeah, it's really, really good. So if we're going for length, this is the way to go. We're going to go with the Contos head for now. And like I said, there is one in here that, give, that has a 250 length. And then we don't have to do anything with that. We'll probably end up switching some of these parts out anyways. But we'll craft a few of these, smelt them back down and see what we get. We did unlock quite a few parts. Let's see if there's any good higher tier. Yeah, we're starting to get tier 4 parts and the damage is quite a bit higher. So let's swap that out. Now one of the things that we are going to run into is if we want to craft, you know, 20 to 25 of these things, we're going to need higher tier parts or crafting materials, which shouldn't be too hard to do. But the problem is we're also going to run out of hardwood if we want to refine this stuff up. So actually, let's see if the town has some, because we could probably do all that all right here. Yeah, they've got 215. We've got cash. We can afford it. Maybe we'll go do that. Oh, you know what I realized? You cannot use crude hardwood. It has to be regular hardwood. Yeah, this stuff's not counting for anything, actually. So we have to actually sell that. We can only use regular hardwood. I didn't realize that. So new plan. We've got a little bit more hardwood left after smelting some things. We're just going to go with a few... Th weapons that I know for sure we can actually craft. So let's go ahead and make 25 of these things. All right, here we go. So I got everybody outfitted and I also organized. So I want to put pole arms in slot one, sidearm in slot two, throwing weapon in slot three, and a shield in slot four. For actually, just for now, we may switch that up if we have different types of units or when we hire different types of units. But for now, it makes it easier to figure out Who's got what because you can just look at the same slot when you're scrolling through. It's really a lot easier to organize stuff. Cool, so everybody's got a 257 length pole arm that actually does decent damage. Like some of these do 27 pierce. The ones where you messed up and didn't get a good roll on that was only 20 pierce, but it's still pretty good. Now we are slightly overburdened and I think it's mostly because of the crafting materials that we have. But we could probably rectify by buying some pack animals because we do still have some some room and we're not oh, we're not getting a hurting penalty. So I think we're good on that. And I did forget to check and see if everybody's got a mount. And I know there's at least one person that doesn't. Yeah, Fabulous, Biggest. Oh, and Edgar, actually. All right, so they both have mules now. 
And that gives us a little more movement speed. All right, let's go find ourselves some victims to test these new pole arms out with. I'm kind of excited for that. Now, unfortunately, we can't chase these guys. I'm wondering if we can buy a boat, if we can use that to chase the, the bandits. I, I don't know if it's worth it, though. We'll probably just keep doing what we're doing. And there is a big tournament here in Roma. Let's try that out. And we got a Gladius. This one looks like it's got some pretty good damage, too, so we'll try that out. That one had a lot of throwing weapons. We got our Gladius. 15 Renown. Just a little bit of spending money. And this Gladius is worth a little bit, but look at the stats on this thing. All right, let's see. Yeah, it looks like a couple people can swap it out. I'm kind of curious. We should probably swap out some of these longer weapons because we've got the long polearm. We'll try and get more of the weapons that actually belong in this era. So there, I know there's still some weapons that are in here from the base game. We'll swap them out for Gladius. We got to try and craft some of these things. And luckily, this realm needs a lot of slaves, so we'll sell some people here. Maybe we'll run into some more people we can capture and sell. I just want to test out the pole arms. Come on. Where's our victims? Nope, but we got another tournament at least. And wouldn't you know it, it's a helmet. Another helmet added to the list. 15 Renown. I'm... These tournaments are really crazy for Renown gain. I don't remember it being that good, but I guess it's probably partly because of uh, the Banner Kings mod. So helmet, looking pretty decent. It's not as good as ours, but... Yeah, we're getting some upgrades down the line, so that helps. Right, we just want to find some bandits to attack. Where are the bandits? Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like the Gazates are taking some land here. Yeah, this is uh, supposed to be rightful Italian clay or Roman clay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They reached across the river. There is a ferry point right here, so that makes sense. All right, so let's get a look at these spears. Yeah, they're, they're pretty long. Wow. Let's see how they interact. So it looks like they do use the spears mostly. Yeah, look at that. They can't even get close. <laughs> That's like the, a really good length. Not too long. I think even a little bit longer would be okay because they do have the gladius they can switch to. Or some of them do anyways for the real close quarters. But some people did continue to use the gladius. Like this guy's... Who is that? Crixus? So Crixus used the gladius. He ended up getting a kill because of it. Yeah, not bad at all. But of course, that was a pretty easy battle. It's... Oh no, this guy just went in the water. Whoops. Right, maybe it's time for a bandit hideout then. That's actually not a bad idea. I forgot about these things. Yeah, we use everybody at the top. That's fine. We'll get some javelins off. We got one kill already. All right, who's, what weapon are you using? No, why not use your full arm, dude? What are you doing? We'll help out. This guy seems to be struggling. Who is that? Rufus? I'm wondering if it just has to do with... Um, how close they were but that was really weird because the enemy had a polar mount and he was able to hit but rufus was not switching and attacking back so i'm wondering if maybe we just get rid of the sidearm altogether give them two two stacks of javelins and the shield these guys are so deadly accurate with those javelins i guess some weird graphical glitches in here it's like uh the smog outside's coming on in yeah it's gonna be hard to see anybody in here I'm not sure what changes that, because I don't think we have any visual overhaul mods. Oh yeah, this is going to be tough. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking going up against all these pole arms. Alright, there we go, they got him. Okay, there's no way we fight this. We, we have to do the, the duel. <laughs> Look how many people they have. This is ridiculous. Wow. That's hilarious. Now, we don't have a ton of two-handed skill, but I think what we have is, is more than enough. Oh, yeah. He's done. He's done. Stay down. Look at that. They got, what, 5, 10, 15, maybe 20? That is so many of them. Yeah, 19. Pretty crazy, but we got no losses. We killed almost everybody. Looks like Demetrius got a few javelin kills. Oh, wow, they had 10 Sea Raider bosses in there. What in the world is going on? <laughs> I'm wondering if it doubles. <sighs> that wouldn't even make sense, though, because it's more than double. Yeah, I was just thinking that mod that doubles all the bandits. Maybe it doubled how many were in here, but, I mean, that would make Sea Raider boss times two. Not, not that many. Interesting. Got some pretty good upgrades here. I think we also got some good weapons. That two-handed axe looks pretty good. The cut damage on the sword is, 100, uh, is 31. Thrust is 7. This one is 40 cut damage. The problem is I don't think cut damage is that good. So I almost would rather skip this and just stick with the thrust weapons. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up doing that. 
Oh, actually, that reminds me. We do have a few people that have... There's one guy that's got throwing axes. We want him to have javelins. So we'll swap that out. And then there's two or three people in the end that do not have any throwing weapons. So we'll go ahead and replace that. That should be good. Actually, there's more people. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people that don't have throwing weapons. And maybe what we'll do is we'll slowly phase out these one-handers and replace them with the, with the extra throwing weapons. But I don't know if we want to do that yet. I'm still not convinced that having only the polearm is the right move, but maybe, maybe it is. I know I did some testing. I did a guide on that, but yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, we should we should probably do that. I think one-handed is going to be a little bit of a trap, but it's okay. We only have two people that are going to have it, so... Yeah, I'm tempted to buy a boat because there's a lot of bandits we could be catching here. But we need to keep fighting tournaments. Let's go check out Palermo real quick just to make sure. Oh man, look at this. And yeah, we actually reached clan tier 3 already. Wow, that was fast. But there are 89 units here. That's insane. All right, we're going to go for it. I think positioning is going to be pretty important here. Let's take the high ground. And we'll just go up as high up as we can. Here we go. Now, the thing is, I don't know if they can just walk over this ridge. They can't. No, they can't, actually. So they're going to come from right around here. So we can still take the this real high part. What we'll do is we'll go a nice long shield wall. Some of these guys in the back, unfortunately, aren't going to be able to get their... Their javelins off. Oh, I don't know why it's not going full length. All right, kind of. We'll we'll, we'll make it work. All right, here they come. They're starting to crest the ridge. Oh, they're gonna create a nice little funnel for us. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, everything they throw is hitting practically, and it's nice because that ridge kind of funnels them in. So let's um, let's help add to the chaos here. Alright, they do have quite a few people here. We gotta be careful. They are starting to pile on the numbers. Alright, one more, and then we're gonna get in there with our with our two-hander. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Alright, pull arms. Let's see how well these things actually do. They're holding them off. Now it, it doesn't look like they're switching. They're no, some of them do, yeah, actually. Some of them are using their pole arm in one-handed mode. Alright, we need to help. We're starting to get overwhelmed a little bit. Alright. Oh, they're fleeing. Some of them are fleeing. Look at how many bodies are down there. Wow, that's a lot. Alright, we're gonna fight this again. Oh man, there's the lonely guy. He got stuck down the hill. Look at all these bodies. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, man. That is insane. Some of them fell all the way down there. I think they there's probably some that got killed right here, and then they slid down that far. I don't think they would slide down that high, that far. I think that guy got domed. Very interesting. It looks like there's a lot of people that got hit by javelins, but there's probably a good amount that did get stabbed as well. So how do we do? 78? 11 people got out, but we got 78 of them. We've got Asedius with 7. There's a couple people with 6 in here too. So Maximus with 6. Rodinus with 6. Pretty solid results. Quite a few people with 4. Yeah, I think everybody did well, except for Rufus. What happened, Rufus? And <laughs> Ethel got 0. Kaifa was 0. Interesting. I think we had a few people that were stuck in the back that weren't able to get anything off. But man, that's really good. But look how much renown we got. So we get 15 renown for one tournament. And we get six for killing 78 people. That's interesting. We should be getting quite a bit of loot off of this. A couple of glove upgrades. I think mostly because we don't we didn't have gloves at all on some people. That was a very successful battle. In the previous episode, we defeated large mountain bandit group without losses. Won several more tournaments, earning 15 renown per win. Started practicing a slow shield wall push to deal with enemy infantry. Began crafting longer pull arms for the front line. Cleared a sea raider bandit hideout and hired two new companions. I, I think the pull arm choice was was good. We'll finish these guys off yeah. real quick. Uh, no need to fight it. We'll just auto resolve. Ballast with three on the auto resolve. Interesting. It, it's it's also interesting that they they use the, the melee weapons. They don't use their pull arm. Uh, they don't use the throwing weapons. Yeah, I'm very curious about that. Maybe it's because it's the weapon that's in slot number one. Maybe it only takes into account that one. And there is a tournament here. Let's go see what we got. A heavy Menavlion. Now, the unfortunate thing about this is we don't want any swing damage pole arms. They just don't do that well. We can try it out, but I, I don't think it's going to do as well as the thrust. 
We got our Manavlion. Let's see what this thing's worth. We'll, we'll probably just end up smelting it down, though. Yeah, I wonder if it'll give us any decent XP for, for smelting it. 1800 Yeah, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not great. But let's go ahead and sell off a bunch of this other stuff that we don't need. Actually, you know what? We probably need to hire some people first. And just make sure that we that they've got all the gear that they need. Yeah, I think we'll just smelt it down. We could use the ma crafting materials. And fortunately, we did pick up some pitchforks from those looter battles. That'll give us quite a bit of hardwood. I think we'll craft every or smelt everything that has any kind of hardwood. And that should help. We'll we'll save these for when we need the materials. That did actually unlock some of the, the tier five parts. So we're fairly close to unlocking everything, but not quite. Actually, there's quite a few things in here, so maybe not. Doesn't matter. We need to craft a few of these things for the new people that we're we're gonna hire. So let's spam a few of these things. I probably should have named these. Let's save them, make sure they don't get sold. Uh, when we get to the final form, the, the ultimate ones that we want to make, we'll make some good names for them. But for now, that's fine. We'll just leave it like this. So let's pick up a few companions here since we've got all this cash. So we got Husni al Faradi and 2800. Beautiful. We'll take it. All right, we've also got Albursain here, 4500. And here's Fironius for 1600. Whoa, dude. Can I clone you and have like 10 of them? That would be lovely. And another companion with some decent gear. This is Philippus Putus. Yeah, no wonder. Decent gear costs us eight grand. What in the world? Well, welcome to the crew, I guess. <laughs> and finally, we've got Lucius Holy Surge. I think we're going to probably have a ton of Luciuses. So, well, maybe we'll go by Holy Surge instead. But that used up a big chunk of our cash. So let's see what kind of gear we need to do here. It's good. Some people already had a mount. So that saves us a little bit of cash. But we do need some shields. Actually, we might need to buy some shields. Uh, we do have some spare throwing weapons. Let's actually keep these... Yeah, I know we had some secondary people that had two sets, but we're going to need them. So let's take them off. So they did take a couple of our, um, they, they did use a few of our mules, but that's fine. We can buy some more. Let's go and throw on these pole arms here. Everybody's got a shield. We are missing two. So we're only missing two sets of throwing weapons. So we'll get to that at some point, but I don't think we have the craft. And, and also, I, know, I think I mentioned it in the, the intro video, but you can't use better crafting and then go into the javelin for in this campaign for some reason. There must be something else because I know I've done it before in previous campaigns, but it just it locks up the computer, it crashes it. So, so we'll have to I'll have to reload and do those separately. But for now, I think just the pull arms is pretty good. I think that that'll do for now. So I spent a little time collecting some hardwood and doing a little bit of crafting. I was able to get a couple sets of the pila. There's only two options for the pila to craft, so there's not really anything to look at. But essentially, we just found the, the right recipe for it. Made a bunch of them, and now everybody's got at least one set of the proper pila. I'd like to get some kind of standardized set of armor, a shield, things like that, uh, based on the type of unit role that they're trying to fulfill. So I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. So we'll, we'll work on that soon, but we need to continue making money, continue expanding. I'd like to get up to maybe double this size, and then we can break away, start our little slave rebellion. Oh, they're bugged out. We can't get to them. I'm curious if we were to buy a ship, what, so these cost quite a bit, but it doesn't really tell us, I don't know how many people they hold or if, if there's a different speed or something. Yeah, I wish it said something before we had to spend the money on it, because I would love to chase these guys right now. We could technically afford a galley, the most expensive one. Let's see. Oh, actually, you don't have to buy it, so you can actually go there. So crew capacity of 40, troop capacity of 100, and a cargo capacity of 6,000. That's pretty interesting. Now, if we do a Gallius, it's 25 and 60. I'm curious if crew capacity means companions. You know, let's let's buy it. We're going to use it eventually, and we have enough money to survive for a while anyways. Interesting. So there's a maritime mechanic fleet management system here. So we can see our galley. We got troop capacity of 100, crew capacity of 40. Again, I don't know what that means, but it would be cool to know that. And then cargo capacity is 6,000. So I'm, I'm guessing we can store some stuff in here. So we can set sail, let's see, in our galley. Yep, there it goes. So can we chase this guy? Oh yeah, we can fight him right here. All right, and I'm assuming there's no like boat map. Yeah, it's just a regular map. That's fine. Yeah, that, that would be kind of tricky if they did that, but pretty cool. I, I do, so far, I haven't played with it too much, but so far I like that mechanic. It's kind of interesting. Let's go test out our new Pila. So again, everybody's got the Pila. They don't have a big stack size though. It's only two plus whatever... Oh man, they're not hitting anything. That's not good. Plus whatever perks they get that increase the stack size.
Oh, they're getting getting some damage in man. Oh, mostly in the center, at least you guys in the end aren't really getting any action here. Alright, well there they go, they're fleeing. Uh, they're really accurate with these things when they're in a certain range. Yeah, we took out 56. Didn't lose anybody. I'm curious to see if anybody got injured, though. Because it, it seemed like we took some hits. But a lot of people got four. We got uh, Esetius with five. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you can do that on the ocean and chase people around. I wonder if that's safer to do than if you were to do it on land. We just auto resolve these. And then back in to sell the prisoners. Yep, three grand from that. So we're going to make mo a lot of that money back pretty quick. Sweet. We're just going to chase bandits down right here then. Another 31, we were just dominating these guys. I think uh, I'm kind of curious to try our hand at maybe a bigger battle. See how that goes. That said, we do need quite a bit of money. Because once we break away, we're going to have to be on the run for a while. And we'll need to have at least enough enough money and supplies to last. We've pretty much used up all these people, this town's money. So let's keep moving. Maybe we'll go to a different, different port. And it's a slaughter. Look at that. <laughs> they're running before they even get... They're not even halfway here. And they're already gone. This place is still paying for prisoners, so let's go there. Do that. And actually, man, there's a lot of bandits around here now, finally. Even without a mercenary contract, we're going to be making really good money here. Just based off the loot. Yeah, we're just we're just dominating. They can't even get to our line. That was 43. We didn't... I don't think we got a single melee kill. This was all just the javelins. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what the limit is of how many people we can take on before they even reach our line. I mean, we did fight that 160 unit. That was basically 3x. Yeah, 3x are party size. Alright, let's set sail. Let's get out of here. Yeah, there's some big parties out here on the ocean. Oh, there's another 51 down. Oh, they're not paying anything for prisoners here, though. Let's check Tunis. If they're not, we can go back to Roma or Palermo. Yeah, here we go. They're paying good money here. Almost four grand for that. And there was a big party back here. Here we go. 41. We'll take them out. And another 41 down. Yeah, they're paying us four grand for each, each 25 prisoners that we bring in. And then whatever loot we got, we, we got a lot of loot from that. Yeah, sadly, they, they don't have money to pay for it. They've only, they only had 25 dinars. But we can do another tournament. Oh, wow, we just got one tapped. He hit us in the neck. So that's like the weakest spot. If you get hit in the neck, you're pretty much done, no matter what armor you got. That's kind of funny. All right, well, back on the waters. Here we go. Found another random group out in the middle of the ocean. And by middle of the ocean, I mean on the grassy plains. Yep, another group down. We got a lot of people that got upgrades here, so let me spend a few minutes picking perks. All right, we got them. Let's go to Valencia. Oh, I guess we're going back this way. We'll go to Algier. Oh, they got, they're paying good money, and there's a group of bandits right here. You got a problem? Oops. They are taking over this right side. We gotta help. Right, somebody went down. That's weird. We we've gone up against much. We've gone up against much larger groups, but this one for some reason I don't know if people were just missing their shots, but they got right up to us real quick. Luckily, they didn't die though. It was Leanna. Ooh, that was close. Let's go turn these people in. So 5,700. We've got a lot of prisoners. 35 prisoners. And we can sell a ton of stuff. Oh, they don't have much money though, unfortunately. All right, we gotta go somewhere else. Let's head out. Let's uh, let's go to Valencia. Ooh, there's so many there's so many bandit parties out here. Yeah, let's take these out. And then what I would like to do is maybe spend an hour or whatever, and uh, just recruit new people, get them set up, getting all the names in place, and then maybe we'll start a little uprising. I, I think it's probably about time. We've we've look at how savage these people look. Look at that. Imagine you're coming up against that. No problems on that one. 19 kills. And there's another 19 right here. There's a lot of heads. Oh. Oh, that guy got destroyed. So he took he took a shot. Had his little death animation. And then took another like 10 or 11 javelins at the same time. That was brutal. All right, 19 more kills. Let's go turn him in. Let's go recruit a bunch of people. And we need to get into a big fight. So we can pick up some real gear. And start expanding our, our, little, uh, our little empire. Our little group, not an empire, I guess we're just a group group of mercenaries. We don't want to set our 
fleet there. Let's actually hang on to our fleet. Okay, let's go check out Valencia. All right, they're paying good money and they also have a tournament. So we're still sort of doing our job. Well, that guy just got one tapped. So pick up another reinforced kite shield. That's kind of the same one that we have right here. I think it's pretty darn good. And they do have money here, so that'll come in handy. And we do need to get rid of some food. We got too much of certain things. Yeah, 103, there's no way we need that many. I think maybe we cap it at like 40 of any one type of food. Yeah, that should be good. So that frees up a decent amount of storage space. I don't know how to use the storage space in the boat. I'm kind of curious about that. We've got close to 100k. I think we should probably spend a lot of it and just recruit a bunch of people. But let's pick up some new people. We got Aurelius, Marcus, Jon Jonathanius. 2,500. Beautiful. We can afford more after that. We've also got Quintus, Sertorius. 3,500. That's fine. We've got Marcus, Gelisavius of Illyria. Five grand. Why are you so expensive, man? We've also got Catullus Impudens. Almost five grand. And last but not least, we got Caius, this big unit of a human being for 2,500. Now we got to get everybody situated. We got quite a bit of things to do here. So a few people don't have shields. Let's go ahead and throw in at least just a temporary shield, something not too expensive. There we go. So we used up pretty much all of our spears. We've got only a couple Pila left. And we don't have armor for anybody, but that's fine. We'll, we'll be getting that anyways. So the two handed pole arm, the Pila any kind of shield and if they had one already a sidearm it looks like everybody had a sidearm already so that takes us up to 35 i think we probably want a few more so maybe let's go to another town or two and then we can start our little adventure and i think we'll keep taking our ship that seems like a, a pretty good idea now i'm curious if there's an option if there's an option to switch to your boat like how do you get your boat as i would love to put stuff on the boat but i don't see an option for it you know, one thing we should probably be doing actually is let's go back to the Empire Towns and we should probably try and set somebody up to to manage those uh, from the gang alley. That'll give us at least a little bit of income. We can support our wages and we can use the money that we make from combat for gear and things like that. Uh, more important than just paying wages. I think that's kind of boring. And that is a giant line of pila throwers. Yeah, there's no way they get anywhere near us. <laughs> there's nothing left. Absolutely nothing left. It would pre be pretty interesting to fight some of these um, these minor factions. That might be who we target in the beginning. And then we can work our way up to fighting the Empire. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, wow. There's there's a group of 163 barbarians. Yeah, not much we can do about that. That's I think that's too much. We might be able to take in the 80 range, maybe? Possibly. I don't even know. That's Even that's a little too much. But can we auto-resolve this? Yeah, no, no losses, no injuries. Very cool. Oh, that's right. This place doesn't pay anything for them, unfortunately. Now, it did actually seem appropriate to have somebody named Nautius Maximus running our, our bandit hideout. You are definitely naughty, and you're going you're gonna to be doing criminal activity for us. <laughs> so first thing, we got to figure out where we can even attack. There's seven, seven, and five, so we can go back street. But let's make sure we have some troops on hand, because we do need to put a little bit of a garrison in there. But we actually don't even have a weapon. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to use one of these pitchforks. Let's see if it goes well or not. Well, I think you can tell who our companions are, right? I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, look at him. Chatting it up with the ladies. Demetrius. Here, why don't you uh, let me help you out a little bit. Oh, no. He knows his personal bubble. Here we go. So there's five here. We'll probably have to run a little bit. Oh, they're actually letting us get... Some pretty easy hits off. Ooh, that sword is mighty big, though. Oh, no, no, no. What is she doing? Who is that? Wolvenia. Jeez. Oh, she punched this guy to death. Oh, and I'm an idiot. I forgot to... I forgot to adjust the stats. Oops. So, we hit this guy for 99. I remember seeing 99 damage. Wolvenia must have come in from behind and hit him in the head. <laughs> you only need to do one damage to take him out, so... That's really funny. And then she went... Punching this guy and distracted him so he can get a stab in. Well, she, I don't know if she saved us or she's just trying to flex or something, but wow. That was an interesting fight. Well, we got to do it again. It's funny, the, the, Nadius Maximus, the, the guy that we hired, had one level short of roguery. <laughs> Go figure, huh? All right, so this next one's going to be tougher. There's seven and seven. All right, nobody's following us, which is good. I don't want any of our companions to die. We should be able to run. Yeah, they, they take a lot of damage. Oh boy, it's so close. Yeah, if we take any hits, we're we're in pretty big trouble. 
It is kind of fitting that we have a trident right now. I mean, it's a pitchfork, but it looks like a trident. The whole gladiator thing. There we go. We got him. So that's all the bandits. That's all seven. Oh, and I did not check to see his mercy skill. Looks like we're doing another one. <laughs> oh, so he was 30. No, he actually did have enough roguery. He just, uh, he has a trait. We got to get rid of his trait. Yeah, his mercy skill needs to be one or uh, whatever. We'll just make it minus one. Take three. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this man without dying too. All right, there's two down already. Oh, we got a big hit. That hurt. Wow, that was a big hit. We need to play this a little bit conservative because that that hurt man. We're lucky we didn't die that that one hit could have taken us out All right, There's another one down. Let's try and ambush him around the corner or something There's another one down run like a coward All right, luckily dude with the oh boy, who is that one of our companions is ready to punch Oh, no, don't get sliced. Oh man. He took one for us Kaifa Kaifa took a slice to the shoulder. All right, we're taking over the alley finding. So Nadius Maximus, go help us out. And you got 10 people to help. All right, let's see what that looks like. So we are making 80. That's not bad. That covers a little bit of our wage. Not not a lot, but I mean, it's tough because we don't have access to a whole lot right now. We can't hire caravans, I don't think. I think this would be a tough one to do that. Uh, maybe we could, but we're going to be at war with a lot of the Empire soon. So it may not be a bright idea. Yeah, And while we're here, let's go ahead and sell a few things. I think we got a little too much. There we go. So 73k. We got a little bit of income coming in. I think we can go to a couple more towns and set it up. And then once the criminal rating gets too high, you know, I guess that'll mean our masters know what we're doing and we got to run. So let's let's keep moving. We'll go port to port. I think this is a really nice way to go. Yeah, going on land is a little restrictive. I, I do like the idea of having the boats. And we got to keep getting XP, so we'll keep going. No big deal. 33 down. Nobody got away. And I think we'll just keep going this way. We'll go Palermo, Napoli, maybe... Oh, Roma doesn't have a port. Yeah, Port of Ancona, maybe on the other side. Oh, here's the big one. Yeah, this is where we make the real money. Man, look at that. So many people going down. You know what the problem is, though? Once we start having people throw javelins or shooting arrows back at us, I think that's when the problem is. If it's just melee troops or just melee cav we might actually be okay but once they're able to to shoot or throw back that might be a problem so 59 looks like one's gonna get away that's fine you can tell the story i right, got to get to palermo real quick before we lose all of our prisoners all right we've got our next gang leader look at him he's a grizzled old man missing an eye big old scratch on the face this is fabianus metadius so we're gonna take him in three grand let's go take somebody's what do we got seven in the back street five in the clearing and looks like that's it actually so why don't we take out the back street first and then we'll go clearing next all right here we go stab oh we didn't get the kill on that sub yeah they're gonna block everything it's gonna be tough unless i get them around a corner or something oh that guy took one though we don't want to mess with the sword too much oh no here comes our <laughs> look how many companions we have oh uh, there's so many naked people ready to fight that's hilarious. What if we fight them over here then? Right, we want to go in circles. We don't want our companions to get in here and get killed. They don't even have a weapon. All right, there we go. We should be good now. Yeah, we got him. Crush the roll on that one. All right, now time for the real one. Backstreet. That's a lot of dudes. All right, I think we got to utilize corners. There's one. I love having the guys with the knife chase because they can't hit you even if they're right next to you. That sword makes me nervous though. Oh, we're taking a hit. Oh boy, that we didn't get around that corner in time. Right, let's go back. Oh, <laughs> that's a civilian. Are they stuck on the door? Oh, that guy's not stuck anymore. All right, there we go. Oh, we got to crush through on him. Fabianos, do us proud. And it looks like this place is giving 88, so a little better than the other one. And again, this is going to raise our criminal rating, which is fine. That's kind of the point of the, the campaign at this point, so don't mind it at all. And since we're still able to be here legally, let's 
Go get a Spatha. All right, final battle. We got this guy. Got him. And we got our little sword. I don't know if it's going to be better than anything we have, but actually we, we have a companion that's got a little hand axe. We don't really want that thing. So let's go swap that out. Oh, this guy's got a farming utensil. So that, yeah, that's a good trade. And then we'll use the, the Pugio as a backup, I guess. We've still got people that don't have sidearms. All right, back to the port. Let's set sail. I think we can pick these guys off real quick. Make a little bit of cash. Yeah, we don't even have to fight these in person, actually. We're, Auto Resolve is doing a pretty good job for us. We get, we've got enough strength now where we can afford to do it. Actually, let's turn these guys in since we're already here. Yeah, I don't know. They're paying good money here. All right, set sail again. Let's go up the coast. And for Napoli, we've got Schlumpheus Aurelius. Only 2,600, so that'll work nicely. Oh, big problem here is they don't have any troops. And unless the tavern... Tavern's got caravan guards. It's five grand. I don't think we want to spend that much. Let's just go to the countryside. Grab a, cute, a couple of recruits, and then we should be fine. So clearing's got seven... Backstreet, Waterfront, both have five. Let's do clearing first. Two down right off the bat. They're not blocking too well. Oh, that guy didn't block very well either. Yeah, we gotta aim for the head because it seems like it, it can do decent damage to the body, but it's not a one shot. Right, these guys are toast. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bent over backwards. All right, we're not going to take the alley. We got to do the other, clear the others. I think if you clear them out, it's less likely that they're going to encroach on your territory. At least it takes more time. And the last thing we want to do is have to come back here and, and deal with that. Let's deal with the master thug first. I feel like he's going to be the hardest. Oh boy. Well, that didn't work out. I didn't realize that guy was a bandit. <laughs> I should have looked. Whoops. All right, well, I guess we're waiting a little bit to heal up. Uh, here we go, round two. Let's see if we can take him out without getting stabbed from behind. All right, we're gonna have to run inside the workshop, which might be a problem, but we might have room to maneuver. I'm not sure. Oh, we may not even need it, actually. Oh boy, that guy's close. Oh, they stopped. Oh man, they're, we're not getting good hits. Yeah, they're able to... I think I hit that one guy in the back twice already. Ooh, man, this is risky. We're not dying, but it's not good. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Did like three in a row, and now all of a sudden we're dying all the time. Well, maybe if Crixus helps, helps us out, we'll do a better job. I don't know. Actually, he's probably going to die if we do this. Oh, we didn't get a good hit. We didn't get a good hit. That was really bad. Oh, he's distracting. Oh, and he's blocking. What a... Oh, man. I don't even know what to say to that. That was a really good job. Yeah, leave it empty. We got one more to go. Hell yeah, dude. You get a punch in the in the gonads. He did take a hit. I don't know how big of a hit, but let's see. Oh, wow. He barely took any damage. He's still at 79. All right, last one. Let's finish this up. Maybe Crixus can help us do it a little easier this time as well. Actually, now that I think about it, we've got a few other people we could have follow us as well. Yeah, we might as well. Should have done that earlier, but I was trying not to... I was hoping for a little bit of a challenge, but I also don't want to die. 25% chance to die. We already went down twice, so got pretty lucky there. All right, come on, boys. Five on five. It's a fair fight. Well, not really, because we're going to down one right off the bat. Yeah, probably not a fair fight. <laughs> Get dumped on. All right, Schlumpheus. Again, make us proud. We only have six troops to give him, but we can go. We can probably go grab some more. All right, there's two more. We got two more that we can put in. There we go. We got our last two, so we're back up to, or we're up to 11 in, in this alleyway as well. Yeah, I'm curious to see if that's going to stop them from trying to take it over. Yeah, we should have no competition. And we're only making 72 from here, but that puts us up to 240, so close to half of what our wages is covered in gang alleys. But I still think we need more. Now, our owned alleys is, mi is plus 1.5, and our base is minus 1, so we're gaining half criminal rating per day so we are on a bit of a time clock at this point we need to go go like very fast let's go roma first this is one of the towns that doesn't have a, a port so if we do this one we can go to the other two and hopefully do it quickly so let's head up there we got a tournament to do we get to clear the gang alleys get these set up and then i think we're in good shape yeah we'll do the tournament first take our plumed helmet that was pretty painless and quick so we got ourselves a helmet 
you know, we'll get rid of all the loot and it's another 21k. We're pretty close to 100 again. All right, here in Rome, we got this Chad, Gaius von Belisar. He is 2600. We'll make good use of him in the gang alleyways. And I, I don't think that's going to last too long. Whoever's in there right now, they have the same stats as everybody else. We'll pull them into our party once those gang alleyways get taken over. Uh, once we become a real criminal, we may not be able to come back to defend them. So we'll probably just end up taking them into the party, using them as, as regular regular people. So, But for now, we do need people to help us make money. So it's coming in, really coming in handy. All right, what do we got here? We got one alley, two alleys with seven, and the third one is not occupied. All right, let's go pick up a couple people just so we don't have to deal with getting killed here. All right, we want people with weapons. Oh, we got, we even have archers. Wow. Oh, we don't want the archers. All right, let's see, who do we got? We got Caius, Rodnus, Oenomaus, Palas, and Crixus. I think we need one more. Let's do Lucius Holy Surge. Yeah, let's do that. Right, come on, boys. And... No, no girls. So I think what we should do is probably crowd around this group of two, and then we'll be able to dispatch them really quickly, maybe create a quick front line. Oh, they're going after the shield. Oh, we could take in hits. All right, somebody went down actually. Oh, that's not good. Who went down? Uh, we'll leave it empty. I don't think, they must not have died. Oh, okay, actually we lost two people there. Oh, and Maus and Rodnus. All right, well, the show must go on. Let's keep going. All right, we're going to take Gaius von Balasar, Quintus Sertorius, Philippus Putus, and Leob Leobin you can do it. Leobinius. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that one. Actually, does he even have a sword? I don't think he has a weapon. All right, you're not coming with us. Oh, look at this. Henrius, that's not fair, man. He's got a full He's got a full on set of gear. That's pretty rough for the other guys. All right, let's go. All right, everybody here has got a weapon, it looks like. Except for... No, he's got one. All right. All right. Last time, I think we got caught off guard because we had people attacking somebody and then getting hit from behind. So let's start everybody on this side. Take this first guy out. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, don't turn your back. Don't turn your back, you idiot. Oh, man. Okay, somebody turned their back and they just got killed, I think. All right, we're going to take over the alley. All right, who did we lose? Oh, man, I think we did lose somebody. I don't see a message in there and it's not telling me, but I'm pretty sure we lost somebody. So Husni Al-Faradi is injured, but not dead. And I saw one other person go down. I thought it said Philippus. Philippus Putus is right here. Did we have a, did we have two Philippus? I think we might've lost another one. Man. Yeah, we, we had 35 plus, plus the main character. So we had 36. I'm, I'm almost positive we lost somebody. Oh, that, that hurts. Yeah, we, we, should not be losing people in these. I Maybe I'll just do it solo. That's kind of a high risk. All in the name of profit, right? So Roma is plus 88. So we're making decent money from that at least. So rip another companion and all the gear that he had on him. In the previous episode, we crafted better pole arms and Pila to use. Bought a boat for 25,000 dinars and fought bandits on the ocean. Saved up 100,000 dinars and went on a hiring spree. Wolvinia killed a man with a single punch to the head, and we began taking over gang alleys for daily income. We also lost Phallus Begalus. But let's go ahead and recruit a few more troops and drop them back off. We only had five there, so that'll put it at eight. And we could just walk across to uh, Araconia. I don't know if sailing around is going to be worth our time from Napoli. Yeah, I think we'll just walk there. And we'll pick up a few troops ahead of time. All right, we've got Danielis Geraldi. 3,700 or 3,500. And actually, let's just go ahead and wait for daytime. Oh, I was going to say we can do the tournament, but Nemos won the tournament. Oh, no, that's not the one we're at. Somebody won a tournament. Oh, Crixus. Wow, Crixus got it. What did we win? I think it was a weapon. Yeah, look at that thing. That's a really good looking weapon. Gladius, and we'll swap it out. Yeah, our criminal rating is starting to stack up pretty fast, so we gotta hurry. Let's, um, let's go do this. Where are these? Oh, is there no, there's no alleys? There's no alley in this one. Let's see if we can just go claim it, or if we have to wait for some, some people to spawn. Well, that's, that's weird. I wonder if that's a bug. There's nowhere that we can go to claim it. You'd think it'd be easier to claim if there was no gangs here, but I guess not. It just doesn't even show up. All right, well, we'll go on to the next town. That's not a big deal. So Napoli, we want to go to Genova and Venezia. Let's go back and grab our boat. I, I don't know why it keeps dropping us off in the port. We want to go straight there, but that's all right. Oh, I see why. <laughs> it's not an actual port. It says Port of Genoa, but you can't actually go there. It's not an actual port. 
So you have to go to the ferry point then. All right, well, duly noted. Now, if it does that for Venezia, that's, we're gonna have a problem. So seven at waterfront, it's the only one in the town, so we can just do this very quickly. Looks like our companions are outside the castle, the city walls. So we'll just do this one solo. Yeah, I don't wanna go all the way that way and then have to come all the way back. All right, we're just gonna solo this one. Uh-oh, Wolvenia. Yeah, we don't want her. Let's get her out of here. Why are you here? All right, let's try it again. Oh, crap. We had somebody back. What are they doing back there? I, I didn't know we had somebody back there. They're in the middle of they're in the middle of their gang group. That was really odd. I guess I should have looked, but I I've never seen him do that. So I don't know why I would have expected it. You know, kind of strange. All right, we got them all. I don't think I saw the guy die. I, I'm pretty sure it was just an injury, so it should be fine. 38 plus the one we just hired, 39. Yeah, so we should be fine. I think we're we're on the same number. Uh, plus 60, Genoa. What in the world? This place is a dump. It's supposed to be one of the best. I believe it was one of the, the wealthiest ports. M maybe not in 324. Who knows? Yeah, I guess that may not, may, may not have been the case then. All right, we're setting sail. Let's go around the boot. And we want to come back up and go to Porta Venezia. Ooh, here we go. Here's some big groups. Yeah, these guys are tough. They're taking a lot of a lot of deaths, and they're still coming strong. Right, we gotta help this side. Oh, this guy's gonna die for sure. No, nope, he got surrounded, but he backed up. So at least he he made a stupid move, and then he made a smart move to fix it. I guess. Yeah, that was close. Who was that? Ephemerius. Well, we'll see how long you survive if you keep making moves like that. So, 45 kills. Yeah, pretty standard. We gotta start taking on bigger opponents now. You know, we'll we'll stop once in a while to take these big parties. Venezia. And they have a tournament here. Let's wait for a little bit. And no shock. It's another helmet. Oh, another, <laughs> another pylum to the throat. Which I believe that's the plural version, right? Isn't Pila the singular? I don't know why I keep saying pylum. But let's down, we got, oh, actually these, these are really small. Clearing, factory, they all have only three, so we'll, we'll be able to handle that very quickly. Well, we went down, Crix has finished them off. <laughs> well, that works. All right, let's heal up for a little bit. We're not dying on these though, that's good. Uh, you know, I'm wondering if we didn't lose somebody that last time. I'm wondering if you can, it, it shows the symbol that you die, like the, the red, the red thing, but then you don't actually die. I'm wondering if that's what's happening. Here we go. Let's see if we have better luck this time. Ooh, boy. It's that thrust, man. That thrust is dangerous. There we go. Chris has got him on that last one. We've got Carlos Prestius going to handle this. Uh, Venezia gang alleys. There we go. Let's go handle this last one. So, waterfront. All right, let's not die this time. Where are you, Crixus? Help us out. Oh, got him. There we go. Tag team it. At least this guy's waiting for something. He's in the position. We got it. All right, Carlos. I think this is the last one, so we should we should be all set up after this. It's not quite enough to cover our wages, but it's covering a pretty big chunk of it. Yeah, we're only short seventy actually. That's not bad. You know, what we could do actually. It's let's set sail. Let's go back to Ancona. I'm wondering if it's ready or not because I think over time they do have people inhabit these, but yeah, it looks like not not the case. And I don't think there's any way we can get them to spawn either. So criminal rating is up to 24 and a half already. That's that's pretty high. So a couple options we have here. We could set up another criminal enterprise in another part of the empire. Maybe the, the eastern. That might be kind of interesting. Because at this point, if I'm not mistaken, by the around the time that Spartacus was alive, Rome would have had all of the boot of Italy and a good chunk of, of nor uh, southern Europe, but not a whole lot. It, maybe a little bit over here in the, the Balkans. But I don't think they I don't think that was the extent of their empire. I don't think they had all of Spain, all of North Africa, etc. Yeah, I, th I think it was still in the expansion phase. So yeah, I think it'd be okay if we expanded over here, got them to declare war. It would have been more than just the central location. Actually, speaking of which, how are these guys doing anyways? Are any of them dead? So Crassus is still alive, that's a good thing. Pompey is still alive. Yeah, a lot of these guys are still alive. Last time I ran a campaign like this. There was a lot of dead people. Oh, Nifon. Yeah, there's a couple dead people here. Postalia died in battle. Yeah, so they are suffering some casualties, but it looks like the change that I made to their stats is 
probably helping them a lot. Yeah, there's not that many dead. That's kind of cool to see. But either way, we gotta fulfill our duties. We just got a fine steel spear we can win. I got that one. We are still the tournament champion. Nobody's taking that away, I don't think. Let's actually take a look at the leader, leaderboard. We haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah, we're we're firmly in the lead. Although Thoman caught, caught up pretty quick, 21. And I think Olek's been stuck at 17 for a while. So let's sell our prisoners. We got a little bit of money. And let's go sail. Yeah, I was going to say, we're not going to be wanted here. Or we're not going to be welcome here for very much longer, I don't think. So Venezia, 87. Most of them are pretty close. Actually, Roma's got 91. That's That jumped up. So many perks to pick from. So I'm going to take a few minutes and take care of this real quick. Yeah, let's actually set sail and head east. We'll go to the Eastern Roman Empire, the, Byz the Byzantines. Oh, I see a big party. Landing area. Does that mean we can... Can we disembark there or no? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can land right there. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, let's go. We're like a raiding party. All right, 54. I still don't think they're going to get too many people at us. I think we'll be able to dispatch them mostly before they get here. Yeah, look at that. Just raining these things down on them. And they do a ton of damage. They got nowhere to run. Oops, we hit her. We hit. We accidentally hit Nebsina. Oh well. She lived. Only one left. And we'll probably just let him go. Right, let's see how this works. I guess if you just go back to the landing area, you can set sail. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, so we got Port of Thessaloniki, Port of Athena. Let's start at Athena. Oh wow, they've got a big one here. Nine. That is a huge one. Tell's got 5,000 prosperity, so it should be worth quite a bit though. So I think it's worth doing. Yeah, we've got Alus Nomindus. We'll take him in. All right, they don't have any troops here. Let's get rid of our prisoners, and then let's go find some. Oh, there's Sparta. Oh, nobody's got any troops here. Actually, are we? We're clan tier 3 already. Wow, that was fast. Those tournaments are, are a little bit OP, actually, now that I think about it. They don't give you too much loot. Like, usually it's kind of junk, but that Renown's really, really good. And they have no troops anywhere. These guys are all tapped out. I wonder if they've been at war for a long time. Finally found some troops. Let's head back to Athena. Uh-oh. Our ally in Venezia is under attack. So we got six days to get there. That should be fine. I think we can get there in time. So let's deal with Athena first. I think we should do the clearing first. And get the hard one out of the way. Oh, I think we end up with the wrong one. That's alright. Let's just get it done and out of the way. Alright, two down. Let's not get too cocky here. Alright, three down. Ooh, boy, we're getting stabbed by a knife. Well, there we go. They're all dead. Let's do the clearing, and then we gotta head about back to Venice. Oh, man, this one's all the way down here. It's a pretty cool-looking port, though. Okay, well, let's see. This guy's got a really long sword. Let's deal with him first. Yeah, there we go. That's two down. Three down, wow. Oh, so much for dealing with nine. I think I got... He took three hits. Uh, two hits. Well, he will take three hits when he goes down, I think. Yep. Third hit only did six damage and he went down. Almost down. They got three left. Two left. One left. <laughs> Zero left. It's a massacre over here. Alus Nomindus. Make it happen. It's a little savage. All right, how are we doing on that one? Oh, wow. 105. Yeah, we're making money now. We are in the black. All right, set and sail. Let's get out of here. We got to go back and defend Vene Venezia. We cleared it out too, but I guess maybe that doesn't help. All right, we're not going to take any fights. We don't want to slow down. The yeah, last thing we want to do is lose one of our alleyways. We just spent all that time building up. We may not actually make it. Wow, it's been like four or five days already, I think. So close. Can we make it? Oh, our criminal rating's too high now. We've only got a 19% chance to disguise ourselves and sneak through, so that's probably not going to work. All right, Carlos Prestius, let's make it happen, man. We got one day left, so we just barely got here in time. Now, the nice thing is they have no shields. We got we got all of our javelins. They can't do anything about it. Oh, we just, we just stabbed Carlos Prestius. Oh, man. We hit him. I think we hit him in the leg. Look at that. <laughs> he used to be an adventurer. All right. So no losses. Once again, I think I did the most damage on the team to our own team. So now the alley has how many troops? 10. Yeah, I don't think we need to put anything else there. 
All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sh sure we're going to be wanted here very soon. And we, we may not even be able to get back in. But we'll enjoy the income for now, I guess. You know what might make sense, actually, is putting our... We can put our ship here, right? I think everything else we can get on land. So we can set up over here. All right, let's just do it by land. So the ferry port over here on... Uh, what sea is this? Adriatic? I don't, I don't remember what sea this is. But this one over here. I think, isn't that... Uh, Kind of near modern day, is it Albania? I think it's Al Albania or I can't remember. All right, more perks to pick. We got a lot. Yeah, there's a lot to pick from here, which is good. It means we're making progress. All right, there we go. Everybody's all worked out. Now, Thessaloniki has 5,000 prosperity, so this would be a good one to take as well. We, we would definitely be making money on that. They've only got two spots, Backstreet and Waterfront. Now, we do have a bit of loot we've been saving up, so let's... Let's go ahead and outfit everybody. Yeah, it looks like there were a couple upgrades and then we'll sell everything else. At 30k, that, that'll put us at 130. We can definitely expand our party here pretty safely. All right, well, at least let's, let's get another tournament in. This may be one of the last times we can, just because we are very soon going to become an outlaw. We took out the Varangian Guard. Yeah, we're moving up in tournament, I think. Well, maybe not, because we're getting the same renown. I was going to say, these, these people seem like they have better armor. You know what? It's because we're in a different part of the world. Yeah, the Eastern Romans have, have a different style. I did not think about that. Oh man, we got stuck in the map. There was a piece of the map sticking out and we couldn't walk past it. That's unfortunate. Good thing we didn't die though. That would have been pretty, pretty bad. Uh oh. Marcus Licinius Crassus, Southern Empire, just declared war on us. Well, I guess he realized we were no longer working for him, and we set up a criminal empire in his in his kingdom. Well, it is what it is. We are now outlaws, but we are not outlaws here in the east, so that's good. Actually, did we lose? I don't think we lost anything, right? No, we didn't lose anything, but our income definitely went down, or our wages went up for some reason. Well, good thing our perk is saving us 0.37 dinars. <laughs> Got him. That's pretty nice. All right, here we go again. Let's not get stuck on that little piece of wood sticking out. Die, you bastard! Oh wow, there's a lot of blood coming out of him. All right, that's two down. We're fighting on the stairs now. Oh, I don't think we're getting out of that. Yeah, I was gonna say we have to block. There's no way we would have gotten out of that because the stairs slowed us down, so we had to back up and do it. Oh, not fast enough, man. Let's go ahead and recruit Marcus Rex. We need another companion to handle this uh, Th Thessaloniki crime network. Oh, alright, we got two good two good stabs to start with. Oh, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, you idiot. Oh, it's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna work. You're a genius. <laughs> I was gonna say you're an idiot, but you're definitely smarter than I am. You figured that out. <laughs> oh, man. Maximus. All right, we got one more to do, and then we're leaving our companion in there. Ooh, we got caught there. Man, we got one tapped. Right, I guess we're hanging out for a little bit. Talk about fog, man. You can't see anything. What the heck? This seems like it's a little bugged. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, I was going to say it was really bad inside that shop. It's like being at a hookah bar. All right, there we go. Two down. That's a good start. Oh, wow. He survived. Not that one, though. I think we can do ring around the rosy here. And they... Oh, oh I was going to say they can't figure it out, but they're about to about to stab us. Yeah, I'm wondering if you can't die in these town scenes, because we've gone down like six or seven times. It's, I mean, it's possible, but it's pretty unlikely at a 25% death chance. But either way, I am not complaining about that. Yeah, that would have been horrible if I had to restart. <laughs> All right, there we go. So Marcus Rex taking over. We got a nice little complement of troops in there. And now for Miklagard, the real where the real money's at. Let's go to Constantinople. All right, this place has got to have a ton of oh prosperity. No, it doesn't actually. It's it's less than Thessaloniki. Maybe back in that time of history, it wasn't that big, but this was a powerhouse eventually. Uh, it's got nine, nine, and seven. Jeez, Louise. All right, that's kind of a lot. Now we are making decent money. Now we're plus a hundred. We've got 128k. How many more do we, of these do we need to do? It may be easy. Maybe, maybe we can do four here. And for Constantinople, we've got Hankos Helios. Going to be selling uh, 
he's gonna be apparently he's the merchant of lamp oil and lamp oil accessories i love it last two and we're struggling with this one for some reason all right there we go ran right through him in the end so we'll set this one up all right hank helius hankus helius make us some money man make us proud unfortunately we got crossbow sisters holding the fort down so probably not gonna work out too well and that gives us another 97 so we're doing okay now there's no pretense of having to be a uh, slave in, as a gladiator we're we're past that at, at this point oh we got to pay the ferry to get past 2100 oh i hit the wrong button and it just made us go i meant to back out whoops that's right we'll make money off of this back yeah let's right. uh let's make some money off these barbarians real quick yeah we can we can pretty much auto resolve these now without any issue yeah, we made our money back just off selling the slaves. And there's something worth a lot of money. What the heck did we just get? Empire hooded cloak. It's not even a good... Uh, yeah, it's not even a good helmet. But it's worth a thousand. So, yeah, we, we made money somehow. I think auto-resolve. Maybe it's giving us some weird loot. That's kind of weird. So we're at 200k. Yeah, we, we don't have to worry about money for a long time. So I'll probably do a big expansion. Let's get this one set up. We'll do a big expansion into the actual army. Or our little gladiator slave party and then we'll start hitting it hard we got bwz it's gonna handle this town I actually don't even remember the name izmir now this place has got let's see seven and three this should be pretty easy then this guy's by himself that's a 2v1 which as we all know is not a fair fight yeah out of here thug oh gotta get off off the stairs and somebody just throw a knife at me Oh, this guy put his weapon away right at the wrong moment. Yep, they're all dead. Here we go. B Dubsius. Make us some money. So we're going to take two-faced. 50% chance to sneak into towns. That's going to come real handy because what, what's going to end up happening is if, if we need to go defend, we're going to need that. Now, we are going to be getting some criminal rating here because we got four. And we're getting minus... Uh, we're getting plus 0.5 criminal rating per, per alley. So two total. It'll take a little while, but we will definitely be criminals and they will declare war on us. So we've got ourselves a nice little set of income here. Now we do have some decent money coming in, but we may not be able to defend them at all times. So it might make sense to diversify and start making money some other way. Let's actually see if we can take the port. We want to go to Athena. Oh, we can go pick up our boat now. Let's go back to the ferry point. Ooh, there's a hideout right here. We can try to do that. Now it's interesting. Some of these are archers and some of them aren't. Actually, much, most of these guys are archers. Right, let's go ahead and give the charge command. They're going to be getting their javelins out. That should help. Oh man, they're getting decimated here. Yeah, I was about to throw it, but that one was going right for his head. Oh, chaos. Somebody chaos. Rodness chaos. All right, we'll go for the guy all the way in the right. I think these, these guys can probably handle that. Yeah, there's only eight left. Oh, what a shot. Look at that distance. That was a really long shot. Yeah, they're hitting him. They're trying to hit him from way over here. All right, we gotta try and take some of these guys out. I really don't like dealing with archers. They're gonna, they're gonna kill somebody. All right, we took him out. Now nobody's using their pole arm for some reason. Oh, look at this guy's outfit. That looks really cool. Wow. All right, we are gonna have to duel him. Start it off right. Oh man, he hit us. All right, now we do have a shield on the left side, so we we can just turn this way, take some shots from that. We don't have to block everything. Ooh, get him on the floor. Yep, stab in the back of the head. So most everybody got two. Rodness got three. A couple people got nothing. Very good fight. And we will be taking prisoners here. The Batanii Raider Chief. Yeah, that guy looks really nice. It's an iron M box toy helmet with black hair. That's pretty cool. And we should get some decent gear from that at least. All right, we're back in our boat. So we're at war. Yeah, these guys hate our guts. And the unfortunate thing is we can't dock at any of these. I think if you dock, your, your boat automatically gets seized and you have to sneak in to get it out. And that's not going to be easy to do. So we're going to be at war very soon. Oh, what happened to these? Oh, because they don't have a port. That's kind of cool that it, it only shows you the ports that you can land at. Although it says that, but then we couldn't land at Genoa. That was kind of interesting. 
Maybe that's bugged. But yeah, it, when you zoom out and you're in a boat, it doesn't show you any of the inland ones, so you don't get confused. I like that. Oh, they can definitely chase us on the water. I didn't realize that. So there's Pompey. Neus Pompeius Magnus. Yeah, we don't want to get caught by him, so let's back out. Well, we got chased by Pompey on the sea. That's... <laughs> can't say that every day. Uh-oh. Cagliari is under attack. Cagliari is down here on... Is this uh, Sardinia? Is that what this island is? Now, we're, it's not going to be a good move to park our boat here. Can we do it somewhere else? Oh, man. And there's somebody in the town, so we may not even be able to do anything about it. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Not only can we not get in there, but even if we could, there's a guy camping it. So we might we might just be out of luck with that. All right, let's see if we can get by these guys without getting caught. And we're getting attacked by Thessaloniki. Yeah, we can't really do anything about it. It's fine. We'll make our money from it, and we'll call them back into the party. I think that's that's probably the best we can do right now. You got a problem. All right, this is a legit battle. They've got 84. I don't think this is going to be an easy one. All right, let them loose. Let them loose. Yeah, we're getting hits. We need a lot more than that, though. They're still at 76, 70, 60. They're dropping fast, but they're getting close. To Especially on this right side, they're kind of bunched up. So let's get some javelins of our own out. That's three down, four down, five down. We got to go melee. Yeah, there's no way we keep up with that. Oh, they're running. Yeah, we destroyed these kids. Get out of here. Well, that was a fun fight. Yeah, they had me worried there for a minute, but it looks like the javelins are just too strong. I dump our prisoners, and I think we need to go set up some workshops somewhere, but it, definitely in a place that we know for, for a fact we're not going to be at war with them, so that we don't lose those those workshops. So I think we should head south. Let's go to North Africa. Yeah, I don't think we want to be around here. We might be at war with any of these, actually. Yeah, any of the, the French. I mean, the, the, the Franks, or I guess who would have been there? The Gauls? And then over here, the Goth. Were the Goths here? I can't remember if the Goths were here yet. But I believe that's who inhabited Spain. I will keep farming up. I think, yeah, let's let's put our boat right here. So it'll be at this very point. And we can go to Bechar. We should probably take a look and see who's got better prosperity here. And then that's where we'll set up shop. We can sell some prisoners. And this place has got 4,500. That's pretty good. Actually, can we take a look? I'm wondering if we can take a look at their settlements. No, we've only been to Bechar. Yeah, so that's not going to help. All right, well, let's let's go visit. So I'm pretty sure we went to Zag Zagora as well. 20, okay, that's not going to work. It's not even three grand. Yeah, that's that's really bad. So we're going to go to Marrakech and Rabat. We lost ownership at Cagliari, so that's unfortunate. But one good side effect of losing those is we get to take back our, our companions. So that was Nautius Maximus. We can't take him just yet. We got to wait a little bit. This one's 4,500. That's pretty good. Let's check out Marrakech. 2,500. Okay. That is a dump. What else do they own? Alger, Lagout, El Oud, Tunis. I think that's it. And then it comes over here. Let's go check out Alger. We're still making money, even lose after losing that one. I right, see if he's ready. Stay in Constantinople. We will take him back. It's going to take eight, eight and a half days. Wow. Eight and a half days go halfway around the world. Roma, there's no way we can defend that either. Yeah, we're just gonna lose all of our all of our alleyways. But we made money in the meantime, so it's it's not that bad. So it seems like the fastest route is through the water, so let's go that way. We lost ownership of Thessaloniki. Oh, actually we lost two in one day. Yeah, we're barely positive now. We're still positive, we're just not positive by much. Now Alger is fifty one hundred, so that's probably the highest that we've seen so far. We wanna go to La Goutte. La Hauat. I don't even know how you'd pronounce that. La Hauat. Something like that. My American tongue can't handle it, man. That's too many vowels in a row. This place is 3,500, so not that great. All right, who else are we going to call in our party? Yeah, we got actually two people are ready to come back. So Marcus Rex, B Dubsies, B Dubsius. Made your name sound like a cute little kid's toy or something. El Ode. Let's go check them out. So far, Alger is the best. So we'll probably go back and do. Oh, 5,000. And this one's inland, so it's pretty safe. I feel like this one's less likely to get sieged. I, th I feel like Tunis is going to be really good. I know Tunis and EU4 is one of the best provinces up here in this area. So I'm wondering if that's the same thing here. Getting a little crossover oh, here. Oh, boy. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
So they have uh, Aquinius the Boar. This is one of their lackeys. Yeah, they, they knighted him. Well, we could try. Let's see if we can weasel our way out. Yeah, he's not worried about losing the fight. If we want to sue for peace, it's 88,000. That would take up more than half. Let's take a quick look at their troops. Actually, it's 45 infantry, 7 ranged, and 7 cav. We may actually have enough. I wish we could see what type of units these are. Legionarius Miles and Legionarius Miles Novicus. That makes me think it's their novices. Novicus sounds like novice. So like they're the low tier. So they may not even be that good. I, I kind of want to fight this. I don't know if this is a horrible idea or not, but let's see. So let's start an uphill. We've got a pretty big, yeah, pretty big bit of water that we can, we can use to slow their cab down. There's also some rock formations. We could set up a choke point up there. Yeah, I think I think choke point is probably the way to go on this map. Let's get up as high as we can, and then we'll just run straight across. On my flank. So we're going to aim between these two rocks, and let's see what they do. They look like they're going to send their cab first, and then their infantry are just... Wait, are they not moving? They have to attack us. They, they are the ones on offense. Right, let's dismount and get a nice tight formation here. And we'll actually hold... Yeah, let's hold and go shield wall. What are these guys doing? Alright, they're actually coming after us now. Oh, because we were, on our, we were mounted, that's why they didn't want to assault. Okay, so we gotta be a little bit careful here. Let's see what if this is... This is not traversable at all. So what we could do... We could use this to our advantage right here. So something like this would be pretty nice. Look at that. That is a beautiful shield wall. Except for this, you gotta get a new shield. Who's that? Quintus? Quintus? I take full responsibility for giving you a dumpy shield though. That's my fault. Now we're probably going to want to be loose formation to get rid of some of these javelins, first of all. So let's go loose. And then we can shield wall, tighten it up once they start to get close. Actually, line formation for some reason. Yeah, loose formation is like way too loose. Alright, here we go. I think we're just going to let them, let them throw it as soon as they can. Alright, here we go. So we're going to take some take some shots here. 